hello why is it so dark my video looks really dark welcome in everyone aria congrats on first day oh my goodness how are you guys doing let me get some i'm gonna put some put some chill music in the background while we just chat Hopefully you guys can hear it. If not, I can turn it up a little bit. Um, welcome in. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How are you guys doing? How's your week going? I will say I'm having a little bit of a stressful work week, but I am happy to be here streaming. I miss you guys. Uh, I like the every other day schedule, but then I miss you guys. How's it going? How's it going, Moonchild? Hello, hello. Um, Princess Robot, you'll be mostly lurking. Um, oh my gosh, you have to kill half your sims off for this wedding sickness. Okay, I'm really scared. I'm like so far from the 1500s in my ultimate decades. But uh, Wistful had a pretty rough sweating sickness too. Oh no, you're getting sick, Moonchild. I hope you feel better. To anyone else out there who is feeling a little on the sick side, I hope you feel better soon. Get yourself some tea, get cozy. Um, where did the 350 rooms come from uh what are you talking about get so confused when i say a day and look at it's the next day i know i know i always say what day it is for me and it's like it's later for a lot of you guys so it's after midnight for you amy which i guess makes sense because it's 6 p.m for me because i know it's late it's super late anku how are you doing how are you doing Brandy, your son has been sick too Ugh, it's this time of year it's that time of year where everyone just gets kind of it's a little sicky. I think we're all like cooped up in our houses, right? It's like, ugh. Becca Boo, good morning to you, Becca. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, goodness, guys. The fun has arrived. Oh my gosh, you guys. Becca Boo Sim Self is now in Decades Challenge because Becca Boo had made me a Sim at the beginning of the challenge. Like, I put a, a couple of you guys as like, different sims that you guys have made and i accidentally yeeted her sims family when i rebuilt my save file so yesterday while becca boo was streaming i was like becca boo can i just put your sim self in as his wife because i accidentally deleted their fam his family and uh so now becca boo is in our save file today in decades attire so <laughs> Becca, you just had to reinstall the EA app. Oh my gosh, I heard some people talking about that the other day too. And I know I saw Nico was supposed to stream earlier today and she had like problems with her save file after updating. So, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. You guys make sure you are backing up your saves, especially if you are updating all of the, ugh, you, you guys know the drill, you know the drill. We are doing Wild West today. We are, we are gonna play Decades today. I really liked how we played on Monday where we kind of like rotated around the different families based on what was going on. So we're just, I don't have like a huge plan for today. I wanna bring the uh, Williams family over for the holidays and just see how far we get. I also want to try out this church mod I added in. We didn't get to do that last time. Oh, wait, let's see. I missed. Oh, I just missed. I thought I missed a hydrate earlier. If I missed a hydrate, I don't see it, though. Um, Anku, thank you for the stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Amy, you've seen that origin is going to be down in a few days. Oh, I hope that doesn't mess up my streaming. Um, depending on when it is, because I want to play Coven on Friday and Saturday. D Sims, welcome in, welcome in. I think I did miss it. I don't know why it's not showing up in my channel point redemptions. Um, was it you, Aria? Did you redeem a hydrate? Let me scroll real quick. Because it's weird that it's not showing up in unless it got checked off. But I remember hearing the alert. It was it was Anku with the hydrate. I got you, Anku. I got you. I got you. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get in. Becca Boo, no stream for you today. Sounds good. Was this a normal, I, I like don't know anyone's schedule. Woo. It's a dance party. I feel like today's gonna be fun. Whenever I'm in a good mood, if I don't have a plan, I feel like stream still ends up being fun. We get in, we get into it. We get into it. Can't check at the moment because you're offline, but see the message again. Yeah, if you see it again, Amy, like do a little screenshot and pop it in there for us. Um, Rose, feel like you've missed a whole week. You were there 
Was there a patch update I didn't know about? Uh, my, oh, you know what? I didn't even pay attention to if my game updated when I launched it today. I sure hope not. I sure hope not. Because I didn't update um, any mods or anything. So we'll find out. We will find out today. Let's switch over. Let's switch over and get into it. I'm ready to play some games. Yes, DSIM. Spontaneity is fun. Um, I went ahead. So last stream we had taken. So if you missed last stream, what we did was we took Wyatt with um, William and Boss Hog. He went and he visited Bright, Bright Chester. He got to tour around the college. And uh, he has a little crush on one of the one of the boys out there unexpectedly. So that that was a development. Um, and I had them split from the household, but I've moved everyone back into where they're supposed to be. James randomly showed up. So it turned out James was on the trip with us. And uh, James missed the birth of his second son here. Actually, we'll load into that house first. So in case you guys missed last stream, I can introduce you to the new baby. We have a new Gen 3 baby. And I switched their names. <laughs> I switched the two kids' names. We flipped them back and forth. So they have two boys now. They have two boys. James is home now, so he can come meet his baby. Where are you, James? Probably. Here, James, come have everyone meet your new babes. You come pick him up. Kiona, you go pick. You pick up this one. So they survived their death rolls. I think we might end up having death rolls today into toddlers for their oldest son and for Betty's son. Um, is my reshade on? Yeah, it is. I don't know. I feel like my game looks weird. My lighting. Maybe it's just this build. Here, James, bring him over. Bring him over here. Or bring him right there. That's fine. Look at this baby! Show us your face! The new boo. Oh. Well, we can't really see him, but he's cutie! So I switched the name of Ku Ka Kawa to this baby because it just seems to fit him so much more. He's so cute! So that's the second son that was just born. And then the one that... Um, this is now James Jr. We had... Oh, this is definitely James Jr. That look on his face. Yep. Yep. That's a James. That is a little James, if I ever did see one. <laughs> love the angle. We're literally watching a movie. I love it. I love it. I love tab mode. I love putting them into tab mode. I do feel like the lighting is very off. So we'll have to see when we get to the other lot. Because I, I, something doesn't look right. I wonder if I turn something off on my reshade. A uh, bee bear. Welcome in. Welcome in. And Let's see, Aria. Wait, does it say Aria gifted a sub to Irish? Is that what just happened? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you, Aria, for gifting a sub to Irish. He's a grumpy little boy. He is. I don't think we're gonna stay in here. We're gonna go back to the main household, but I just wanted to see, see, have James meet his little new boo. Uh, uh, herbs. Um, here, James, go ahead. Yeah, put. Good job, James. I was going to cue you to put him away, but James is going to be a good dad. We love that. We love that. Okay, let's save and go back to our main household to get into actual gameplay. And then I think we're 1874 because didn't the date change at the end of last stream? Let me check my spreadsheet real quick. It is Saturday. Yeah, the date changed on Friday. So we are good on that. Good on that. Let me see what um, level of slow mode chat is in right now, real quick. Ten seconds slow mode. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys on. Put you guys on three. Ten is kind of a lot. If it gets too chatty, then I'll slow it back down. James is so happy. I know he's so sad. The baby, what we're saying is because the, the death rolls, they weren't like super close. One of them was a little bit close. We're saying it was a difficult birth. Um, and the baby came a little early. So he was on the trip. He was supposed to be back home in time for the birth, but he didn't make it. He didn't make it. <laughs> Becca, you and Annie this Friday during stream. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. Uh, but let's see. So what is everybody up to? 
I put down a lot for Eli's family because they never really had a proper lot. So I found one on the gallery that I liked good enough. And then um, I think we might have... I need to lock these computers. You guys get off the computers. Um, ooh, my lighting is definitely off. Here, come light that so we have some light in the house. Um, oh, Irish, that's fine. I just had like a vague memory of it being on like way slower last stream. So I was like, you know what? That's probably still on. So let's turn it off. Uh, Josie, everyone's like all out of whack now because it's like middle of the... I want her to do a puzzle because I'm hanging them all on the wall. Here, go do sheep. And I don't know what skill that builds. Hopefully mental. But maybe it's going to be motor. We'll see. Okay, good. We have some light in here now. When can we age up his sister? Are you talking about Josie or... Um, I'm not really following their birthdays 100% anymore. Yeah, Josie has a while. We won't wait the whole time, but we'll age her up sometime in the spring. Lucy, actually, Lucy will probably keep right on track to age her up to a young adult because we're going to have her get married at the beginning of spring. Um, so we just got to get through like the week of winter and then we'll probably start aging people up. Um, Aria, thank you for the hydrate. I'm going to do chai tea this time. Wait, Sienna and Umber Grove are brother and sister with for the Chestnut Townies? I did not know that. Um, Sienna, I could not remember that name the other day. Sienna is who actually married Becca Boo Sim um, Kelly. Kelly, I don't know how to say it 100%. But I accidentally didn't bring Sienna uh, over. They had had some kids. And when I rebuilt the save file, I accidentally left Sienna behind. Um, so that's why I put Becca. So Becca Boo's now married to Keely with two beautiful children. Keeley. Oh, I'm do I was saying it backwards. I was like almost doing it backwards. Keeley. Thank you, Becca Boo. Thank you. So Keeley and Becca Boo have two very beautiful children. I moved them to, um, the, I put an apartment like above the sheriff's office. I moved the sheriff into the apartment that's technically owned by boss hog above the bank and i got the um outlaw back into the game and he's currently staying at the inn above the railroad station so i used for rent to divide it into like three apartment lots so we haven't really been there a lot lucy likes affection okay sounds good welcome home wyatt we missed you we're gonna say they got home late on the train they just got home that's why everyone's up at three in the morning well now it's four in the morning because the boys just got back they just got back super late on the train um yeah becca boo i gave you guys kids because technically kile had kids with um with sienna so i wanted there to be i made one a child who's a boy that could be a potential love interest for josie and then you guys have a little toddler girl who's also cute. The, the girl looks more like you, Becca Boo. We'll have to go meet them. We'll have to say we have to like go to the sheriff's office or something. I don't know. We'll go over and see them. Um, Because aren't you... Didn't you say yesterday, Becca Boo, that you're not able to stay all stream, I think, today? Um, Let's see. These eggs have literally been here for like a hot minute since we left eli's sister is a child oh is that who you were asking eli's sister i'm keeping her i'm gonna keep her in line with josie's age or like slightly older than josie so she's kind of like in between wyatt and josie in terms of like when she was born so i know i kept her a child a bit longer than the others but i kind of want josie to be good friends with her so that's my thought on her um Let's see, Lucy, let's get you going so then maybe we can have you go over to Eli's house. Um, and do something there. And maybe Josie comes too so she can play with Susie. Aw, Josie and Susie. Those just sound like two besties. Two besties. Becca, but you can stay now because you're not on. Just switching to a laptop so you can watch in bed. Go get comfy, Becca Boo. Go get comfy. Oh my gosh, Aria, you accidentally slung your sp spoon of food at your stepdad. I'm like so clumsy with food. I like always get it all over myself, like all of the time. Okay, let's see. It's five. Let's do farm, farm chores. 
Um, I love how everyone's in here all of a sudden doing like puzzles with Josie. Here, family puzzle time. Here, you guys just do this while dad takes. Can work on puzzle. Wait, I'm getting so many exception errors. No, stop resetting my Sims. Okay, William, why don't you come? Hey, no eggs. Oh, not until after 6 a.m. Well, that's in like three minutes, so. I didn't realize there was a time on the eggs. Now there's eggs. Voila. Okay, come feed these guys. We have a cow, right? <laughs> oh yeah, call over Bessie. Go do your... Go do farm, farm chores. And then, Wyatt, I need you. I don't, I think we forgot to actually do your university application. We did his, um, we're gonna say he applied while he was at the schools, but I totally forgot to actually apply. We did his scholarships. The hens can't tell times. Eggs are 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. I know that the garden is 5.30 a.m. So that's weird that they didn't make that exactly the same time. Rowan, you're gonna hop in and lurk. Just started the series on YouTube and don't want spoilers. Well, welcome in. Hello, hello. Thank you for saying hi. Okay. Wyatt, you get to it. Josie, I feel like they keep resetting on the on the puzzles. Okay, and Lucy. Here, go use the outhouse. Oh, nope, mom's in the outhouse. Well, go get in line. Go get in line for the outhouse. Wyatt's university application is on its way. Do you guys remember how long that takes to get a response? Because we're going to have him start in spring after Winterfest. Here, come get some food. Um, It is day 7 of 14 of winter. So we have like a week, but in that week, we're going to have family come over. Uh, we're actually going to have the family come over today. So maybe actually instead of going to Eli's, maybe we start off with having family come over. We're going to start a stay over so we won't have control of them. Um, but William's kid brother is a teenager now, so I'm interested to see how he interacts. What does this say? I don't like when it says if you continue playing the game, may behave unpredictably. Transition. Postures transition sequence. I don't know... Yeah, I thought it was a couple of days. So he's not going to hear back for for a bit. Aria, right, I'm going to do the challenge for as long as I can stick with it. Even if we take breaks from it from here, like periodically, like if I need a break, like between, usually between generations, I take a little bit of a break. But I really, really want to try to s stick with this one. I think playing rotationally and like easing up a bit on the rules is definitely making it more fun. Of course, Josie and William are jokesters. Of course they are. I would expect nothing less. Ravuda. All right, Wyatt, when you're done with your food, you can go get you a little nappy nap since you guys got in late on the train. And then we need to start getting ready for family to come over. Why don't we cook up something nice so when they get here, we've got some like a nice hot meal waiting for them. Maybe we could do... Ooh, maybe we should do like a really nice dessert. I feel like I never had my Sims do like baking and desserts. Maybe we should do that. Um, definitely more fun for sure. For sure. You forgot how gorgeous this build is? Okay, actually, Amy, speaking of decades builds, I saw... Did you build the little... I can't remember what it's called. Not, it's like the sod house. I don't think that's what it's called exactly. But DSims posted it in the Discord. Did you... Was that your build? Because I want to put it in the save file for like... I don't know, someone to live in. It's like so cute. The way it's like built into the earth. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, okay, yes. Uh, for the frogs, I will definitely do a little house tour. Hold on, let me pause them while I decide what she's gonna make. Because then she can cook... I think we should do like peach cobbler or something if we have the ingredients. I think that's under here. Peach cobbler, yes, let's make a nice, hot, fresh peach cobbler. And then here, Wyatt didn't eat all of his food. Um, okay, let's do a quick 
a quick house tour. It looks so nice in the winter. Um, oh, it wasn't you, Amy. It's from Antiquated. Wait, Antiquated Plum Bob is who made the the save file that we started in in Brindleton. So, um, well, anyways, that build is so cute, and I want to put it in the game. It's so 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 freaking cute. Okay, so here it is from the outside. Look how beautiful the world is. Um, it started off as literally a tiny little like five tile shack with um, William on the floor in a sleeping bag. So they have come a long way. We've got a really cute porch that they hang out on a lot. And then inside they come into um, their little living room area, which oh, I just like love this whole thing. Lucy plays piano, so she spends a lot of time there. Of course, their kitchen, we've seen a lot today. Their kitchen, super cute. This used to be the master bedroom, but we knocked the wall out and just made it like the kids activity area pretty much. Um, this like rotates between being like an infant toddler room, so it's kind of like the nursery. We finally got an indoor, an in I was gonna say an indoor outhouse. We finally got an indoor outhouse a toilet or whatever we got a bucket we've got a bucket that we can use um master bedroom well not really but it's where the parents sleep and then upstairs we have the kids so the girls have a room a little landing um the girls room and then the boys room well james used to live in here but james doesn't live here anymore and there's a little uh cabin in the back so we have a little back cabin this is where our family will stay Miss Hooper stayed here for a while while William was at war. Um, so this is cute. I love the little cottage in the back. But I want what I want to redo really badly is the animal area. I like tried to start working on it. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hooper are still alive because they are flagged immortal. They will be alive until the 2000s. They will... They are, uh, they're never going away. They're never, chamber pot closet. Yeah, that's what we can call it. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Amanda, you love the indoor outdoor. The, the indoor outhouse, you know. Doesn't everyone have one of those? Okay, so let's get her cooking and then we'll have William set up the, the stay over. So come here, Will. Anku, thank you for the hydrate. I'm actually like so thirsty today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, we're breathing and partying. Deep breath. You guys are ready to party today. Wait, someone just maxed something. William, William, William did his vibe check. William was doing vibe check too. Oh my gosh, now we're, we're really partying. We are partying. All right. That was cute. I like how William did an air horn right as we were doing vibe time. Wait, how did I say his name? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. I don't know what I said. Hold on, I gotta get my raves in there. Josie's skills are doing all right. They're not super great. Her like uh, motor was really low. Her motor, she's maxed on social and creativity. Her mental is five. I think because it's winter and she's not doing a lot of stuff, um, her motor is really low. Jenny, thank you for 300 bits. Uh, what's on Lucy's Lucy's shirt? She has like a bow. Is that what you mean? Like the little bow on her shirt? Um. Oh, Anku, I'm sorry. I, I um checked off the the stretch. Thank you for pointing it out. We'll do a stretchy stretch. Oh, this feels good. I've been like at my desk all day today. Ugh. Monica, thank you for 20 bits. Mama Sim, you're getting sleepy. Will leave me up while you fall asleep. Get a good snooze, Mama Sim. Okay, while they're paused, hold on. Let me get the... They can't put the books in the bookshelves. They're like glitched like everywhere. They can't do it. Um, okay, focus. Focus, focus, focus. 
Um, Josie, you can get some food in a second. Let's have William. Amanda, thank you for a hundred bits. Nope, not meet and mingle. How do we do this again? Social. Or do you have to do it from the calendar? Wait, I don't remember. I could rem Yeah, add a stay over right here. We're going to make it. I'm just going to set it as five nights and then we can end it early because I want them here during Winterfest. You guys are partying. Jesus, thank you for 300 bits. Oh my gosh, who just kicked off a hype train? Here we go. D Sims kicked it off. Partying on a Wednesday. It's so funny because the sounds don't play on my VODs anymore. So these moments are really funny on replay. Princess Robot, thank you for 100 bits. And Rose for gifting us up to Flame Blade. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Yeah, we are hyping right now. Amanda, thank you for a hundred bits. Who is our family? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even remember who our parents are. Um, guys, William doesn't know his family. Night Frightly, thank you for 300 bits. And Becca with 95 bits. Oh my gosh, here we go. Remix. <laughs> Jesus, thank you for five gifted subs. Just sitting, you've been watching replays recently and all, this sound, all the sounds are wild. Yeah, because I have it set down. I don't have to worry about copyright. So the sounds aren't on VODs, which probably makes me look super awkward on vibes. We are partying. Oh my God. I can't play when there's so many alerts because I get overwhelmed. <laughs> Rose, thank you for gifting us up to Just Knitting. Monica, thank you for 100 bits. Oh my gosh, I did not read out the, the gifted subs. They went by too fast. So you guys, make sure to say thank you if you're in here and you got a gifted sub. Yeah, let's breathe. <sighs> Deep breath. Thank you, Aria. Thank you. We're good. We've got this. Um, I've got to double check. William's family's not showing up, you guys. Why are they not showing up to do a sleepover? Oh, no. You know what? I know what it is. Okay. I know what it is. I think I might have. Oh, no. Did I break it? Um, D Sims with a thousand. Bits. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are raving. We are raving. And you, oh my gosh, you guys got a level three. I wasn't even keeping up with it. You guys are, we are, we're raving. We are raving right now. Um, uh, I saved them, but I think maybe I forgot to put them back in. So, um, hold please. Cause, uh, they're a necessary addition to our... We're just vibing. Okay. No, they're here. They're here. Oh, but I wonder if they're not set as his family anymore. Hold on. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Um, Rose, thank you for gifting another sub. A community sub. Let's see. That one went to Tiff Green. Um, yeah. So I think what I, I had to rebuild my save file like a while back. And so I did put them in, but I think maybe they don't know us. So I'm just going to have them travel to the Westbrook lot and then we'll get it all the, um, we'll get them like reassigned. Where the heck is Chestnut Ridge? We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I'd rather have to do this than lose the whole save file. I also thought the brother was a teenager, but he's still a child. 
I have no idea what broke the save. It wasn't like completely broken. Like it was still working, but the Sims were like freezing. Like the clock would keep going, but the Sims would just stand stuck forever. And it was getting to the point where like, oh my God. What? A fire? A fire? And Jenny, thank you for 300 bits. And Bonica with 20 bits. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I like that he's a kid, actually, because that would be cute to see him interact with, um, with Josie. And now we're having the stupid thing where you can't knock on the door. You can't knock. Why did it say that? Was there, where was the fire? Was the fire, is the fire here? I don't know what's happening, but hurry up and get inside. Oh my God, hurry up. Knock on the door, please. My children are dying. Oh my god, Lucy discovered the fire! Okay, fire. Ay, ay, yay! Yeah! Oh no! That was stressful! That was a moment of high stress. Okay. You got a mod for it now. It's called Less Sim Idol or something, and it seems to be working. Nice! Nice, nice. I also reduced a lot of my. I reduced. Um, a lot of my mods, like if it was just a mod that did like, okay, we can't save. It's saying there's still a fire, but there's not though. Extinguish. Okay. Save us, Grandpa! Grandpa, save us, please! Help me! Help me! Save me from the invisible fire! Oh, thank you, Anku. <sighs> All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Lucy is alive, I think everyone is alive. Where's William? Okay, everyone's out here, because I need them to come. Just do friendly introductions, and then I just need to assign with MC Command Center that they are his parents. We'll get it, we'll get it fixed. If I had realized this, I would have done it before stream, but it's fine. Huh. Hi, Dad! <laughs> It's been so long since I've seen you, I forgot you were my parents. Please don't woohoo and get pregnant again this year. His uh, kid brother was conceived the last time they visited. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, that's crazy because that chair has literally been there the entire time. And the fire's been going the other time. But it just decided today. It's not a good, actually, that's not a good sign for how Winterfest is going to go. We're trying to go for no burnt down Christmas tree this year, but I think that was an omen. Um, wait, why does who look like what? Um, okay, did you meet both of your parents? And then where's your brother? Oh, it's it's the custom content. It's the custom content. He like that custom content like doesn't fit the elder body type very well. Uh sure, Winston, you can like you can like fitness. Um ah. Nothing says holidays like a burnt object. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got level three. Level three hype emotes. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Okay, let's get this sorted. So how do I do this again with MC Command Center? Do I need to switch now that they've met? Do I need to switch back to the main household and then pick William? Um, or here, actually, let's do this really quickly. Let's add William to the family and just go into... I'm just going to do it this way. Because this will just be faster for me because I don't know my way around MC Command Center as, as well. Age check for Winston. Let me see if I recorded what year he was born. I did not, actually. I just added him to the spreadsheet today. I have no idea. We'll check it on the calendar. Aria, thank you for the hydrate. Okay, now I should be able to do... Will this work? Why can't I select Winston as my brother? Why? Why can't I make them our parents? 
I can. These aren't the Hoopers. These are the Westbrooks. Um, I've only rebuilt the safe once, one time, huh. one time. But I'm wondering why is it <sighs> not letting us? Disobey, Genova. Why can't I make him our son? Because he's too old. So if I make them adults, will it let me do it? I'm in full edit. I've turned, I put it on right before. I wonder if I make them... If I make them... Because I can fix their age later. I'm not super worried about it. I, I need their relationships. No, I still can't do it. William might be too old? That's so weird. Huh. William to young adult, and then we'll just, I, I know William's date, like I can, get, I can calculate him, right? So if their ages are a little messed up during today's stream, I, it's fine. Huh. It's, I wonder if I have to leave and come back. Give him that youth serum. Okay, I've changed their ages. Let me go out and maybe go back in because I don't know. This is weird. I tried it from like each of the different Sims. It's like, no, that is not your fiance. Excuse me. Excuse me. Or is it because William like, okay, here. I don't know if you guys have ever re had to rebuild a save. Is it because he already has no it doesn't okay it doesn't have like missing parents on there okay how do you do this with mc command center we're learning together that's my mother that is my mother Maybe this was easier. It's funny when you think something's gonna be easier and then it's not. This is my father. Yeah, this was definitely easier. And now I gotta get the age back. I should have changed their ages. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. And Winston, Winston, why are you? Why is Winston not an option though? Well, Winston, you're our brother, but Why is it showing Winston's picture? Oh, did I click on Winston? Oh, I clicked on Winston. That's why. There we go. It's fine. I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Brother, there we go. There we go. And then now I'll set their ages. So, um, You are an adult, and I'll have to fix the amount of time that has passed. You... Yay! Happy birthday, William! Okay. Back to elder status. Back to elder status. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we have our family. Is our family tree? Yes, we fixed it. Okay, I'm happy now because that's like obviously our founder. We have to have our founder's relationships correct. Are we, st are we still? Oh, can't do it while he's aging up. Hurry up and age up. Hurry up and age up, Grandpa. Okay, we did it. I think we had an ad break during that, so that was pretty well timed because, you know, we didn't miss anything. Yeah, pregnant elder dad. Um, yeah, I'll calculate their ages off stream. They're fine because no one's aging up today. So I'll fix Williams um, after stream. And then his parents, I'm going to just like maybe give them some extra time. So let me real quick. I want to switch back to the main household anyway. So we'll transfer William back. Go back in. Now we can do the stay over. Um... Um, Monica, you have a code that you want to give away? If you have a code you want to give away, we can do a, um, it would take me a minute to figure out how to do like a enter, enter thing. But if you want to give it away in this 
and ch to chat, I'm happy to facilitate that for you. Um, the whiplash they would have felt. Okay, let's get them back. Get William back to his family. Y'all look, here's Becca Boo. Here's Becca Boo right there. Um, where are you guys? Thank you for the stretch, Aria. Wait, it's gone. Like the code is gone. That's fine. That's fine. Read the read it late. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Well, I'm glad someone got a code. I think it was to dine out, right? Because I, I was, you were either talking about it in Becca Boo's stream or it was on Discord. I can't remember, but I did see you talking about it at one point. Raggedy got it. Awesome. Super cool. We're back. Can you guys hear the music like really faintly or do I have it so low that you guys can't even tell I have like cozy music in the background? Father Daily, we're gonna have to play from his household. Um, can't hear it, can barely hear it. Okay, I'll turn it up just a hair. I want it to be very, very light. Like you can't really hear it, but cause I still wanna be able to hear the game play sounds. Um, what is happening? Raggedy, you gave out two community gift subs. Thank you for those gift subs, Raggedy. You guys enjoy your emotes and reviewing all the things. Thank you, Raggedy. Okay, now we're back. Now, pff, why are they sitting on the ground? Okay, family, you guys are looking rather ridiculous, but that's fine. That's fine, whatever. They're like, that was a long trade, long tra train ride. We, we're, we're wiped. Okay, here we go. Mom, dad, brother. Oh wait, I said it for three days though. Hold on. I wanted it to be five nights. Mom, dad, wait, no, that's Mr. Hooper. I keep getting Henry and Mr. Hooper mixed up. Winston, there we go. All right, we go. We did it. We did it. Raggedy, thank you for sharing the wealth with the community. All right, we've got some hungry sims. Uh, did you get that cobbler made? Probably not, because I probably left the lot too quickly, honestly. I do that all the time. I, like, queue a sim, and then I leave the lot, and I'm like, why didn't you do the thing that I wanted you to do? Oh, my God. I'm all over the place right now. Deserts. Where? Peach cobbler. There we go. I love peach cobbler, y'all. My grandma makes like, mm, it's so good. It's like so, so, so good. My grandma makes it. Yay, they've got their little suitcases. They're very modern suitcases. Does anybody know if there's like a decades override that makes it look like vintage? Like vintage um, suitcases. Huh? <laughs> You're already giving the kid candy. We just got here. Hey, Dad, it's been a long time. You guys go ahead and get settled in. Can you assign beds to your guests? I'm not sure. Is that a thing? Here, we'll replace that. Yes, hot peach cobbler with like ice cream. I don't even love ice cream, but that combination is so good. There is, and you guys have already linked it in Discord. I will find it, Rose. I was just curious. Um, cause that would like help with the immersion. Oh wait, we did start the peach cobbler. Well, we're gonna have two peach cobblers. Yeah, we like, I was actually planning on us adopting Winston if our parents died. Um, so we'll end up seeing what happens. Hey mom, I love how they're all just like hugging each other. Y'all are cute. I love it. William, I am gonna cheat your energy because I don't know why it's so low, to be honest. Okay, you guys just make yourselves comfortable. Josie, come meet your uncle who's the same age as you. Actually, I think Josie... I can't remember if Josie's slightly older. Where is he? 
Where the heck did Winston go? Winston? Winston? <laughs> oh, there you are. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Here, call him over. Poor Josie's been like such a loner. She's like the forgotten youngest child. That happens to me in my save files. Just have too many kids. Um, William's mom always gives them candy. Are the great grandbabies gonna pop over? Oh, they're infants now, so we should. We should, we should. It's not unusual. Someone in my family on my dad's side is younger. Like, they're younger than their aunt, I think it is. Um, it happened quite a lot when they started having babies really young. Here, go, or, I mean, you come over here and meet your, I keep wanting to say cousin, meet your uncle. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Winston. We probably don't call them uncle, though. Hi, Winston. Wanna play with me? <laughs> have you ever been to the Wild West before? It's pretty awesome. I have a favorite goat, but it died. <laughs> Here, welcome, Winston. We gotta put the walls. Go away. <laughs> Why do they shake hands? That's so random. Uh, here, play make-believe, and then you guys come... Just go play with Winston for a bit. See what fam's doing. Here, fresh cobbler. I know everyone was pretty much hungry. Yeah, Josie's starving. Why it's fine. Okay. Call to meal. Mom, Dad, Winston, and Josie. Here, we'll just do everyone. Wait, Betty's around. Here, you guys all make you hungry. Everybody. I'm not following my one meal rule for the moment. We're having family time. We're having family time. Krista, you don't think Josie was born yet. Winston would be a teen. But Josie's still a child for quite a long time. So I can't remember. I might have to look back through the, the replays. Sometimes I have to do that. I look back through the replays and I see what year it was when the babies were born. That's the only good thing about having the VODs. Because I've been real bad at keeping up with my spreadsheet, I'll be honest. Look, it has... I think it... Does it have ice cream? I think it's made to look like it has ice cream on it. Yum, everyone get you some cobbler. Winter festival was um, uh, 1861. Okay, that's helpful to know. Yeah, they're on a farm, yeah, it's true. Okay, that all makes sense. Okay. And then I want to see, I don't, can I assign beds to the guests? I don't know. I can! Yes. Okay, mom and dad out there, and then Winston's going to get to stay in um, this room. Winston. Okay, perfect. Now they've got their beds. Rose, now you want to play? Me too. I can just smell it. I'm like, mm, it's probably so delicious. So, I think we should invite the grandbabies over. Here, William, you're not... Oh, William's... Is William cleaning up? Here, let Lucy clean up. Put that down. Put it down. Oh, God, we're about to have a really full house. I'm gonna save. We're gonna... We're about to invite... We're about to have a lot of Sims at this tiny little house. But, uh, here, we'll do it through the phone. That'll be way more efficient. Should we do one family at a time? You know what? I think everyone's already in the area. Maybe during the stay, he gets to celebrate his birthday. Uh, Winston? Uh, Winston's birthday? We could do that and age him up. Just so we get to have a little bit more time with him. I think I'm going to do it as an event. 
I'm just gonna do it as an event. I need to create... When everyone's here, we need to create a Westbrook family group. Let's just make it... We'll just do it like this. Um, Betty, um, James. Why is... But the kids, okay, that's not gonna work either. I thought we met all the infants. I thought we met, went around and met the infants. Ugh. Family photos, yeah, we talked about that in the past and then I was gonna do it off cam and then I, I didn't do it. Um, we don't know the infants, I don't think. So maybe we're gonna make our rounds as a family. Cause today I, I don't I don't really care what we do. We'll do it like this will be like somewhat. It's like a gameplay prep stream kind of. We're gonna travel with the whole crew. I need to select the ones. I'm not gonna be able to pick everyone. I don't think so. I have to summon some of them. Or here, maybe we just here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do William, his parents. Why are people not showing up? What is going on? I feel like something is messed up because... How hard is it to want to go and meet your family? What? Oh! <laughs> You're right. You're right, Uncommon Turtle. You are right. I only had William meet them. We need to fix that real quick. You are so right. I got ahead of myself. Andrew, you're going to watch the season premiere of a show. I hope you love it. I hope it's good. That makes way more sense. I keep forgetting because like... Here, I'm going to get rid of, <laughs> rid of these snow piles. Okay, where are you, Madison? Where are you? What the heck are you? Do you have to run to town to go get something? Look, the outlaw's back. I think that's the outlaw. Is it? Yes, it is. Outlaw Red Jack Atkins is back in the game. Just realized that William's parents are great grandparents. Yep, because of Keona. Well, yeah, they're great grandparents to to James's kids too. <gasps> what, Shania? What are you? Is this your like illegitimate child? You guys look like you're. What is happening here? She looks so sad. Okay, just checking in on the townies while we. He's definitely bugged. Should I reset him so he doesn't cause issues with my game? Where were they? Oh, there they go. Did Shania have a child with someone? Oh my god, that's Kurt Cog! That's Boss Hog's child! What were you doing out with Shania? Okay, did you meet... You met Dad, now go met, meet Mom. Yeah, Shania is not happy with uh, how life panned out. That is so true. There is a season turn, turn, turn. Okay, go meet Winston real quick. Oh no, I think our water and our power is turned off at the moment. We haven't paid our bills. Okay, go meet him. William, pay the bills. Uh, uh, no. I fly. Uh, lent him a roby. Uh, okay. Did you meet Winston? I think you did. No, you didn't. Shania was kidnapping the kid. Kira, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> Oh, 
let's see. Okay, I think we can travel now. Okay, save and travel. We're gonna go make our rounds. We're gonna be like, oh my god, we're so glad you guys made it. Like, James, he's living his life. He's got his babies. And then um, Betty is got her baby. We've got to take you around and meet everyone in town. You use the pay bills automatically. I might start using that, especially for this save file, because I just don't want to have to remember to do it. So I think we're we're not going to take the kids. We're going to like leave Lucy. We're just going to take uh, Madison, mom, dad, and William just to keep it not so hectic. Um, to go meet the to go meet the babies. It'll still be a little bit chaotic, I think, with the lack of control of all of the Sims. But they should be in a group. Because we're not going to technically be able to get the grandparents. I don't know. I don't think maybe we'll be able to introduce them. I'm not really 100% sure. I hate this thing where you can't knock on the doors when you first arrive. It's so annoying. He's a below. Yeah, they're going to meet Frankie. We're going to make our rounds to all of the kids. All right, can we knock on this yet? Knock on door. Okay. Oh my god, my baby is under... What are you guys doing with our babies? Asked to be introduced by James. Asked to be introduced by Kiona. We've been needing to do this for a while because they haven't even met their grandbabies. I forgot because we were waiting for them to age up. Please pick up my babies up off the floor and get their heads out from underneath the... Dad, look at look at what I made. Look at what I made, Dad. James, can you introduce us, please? Could Sims stop simming for a second? James, James, honey, honey, we'd like to meet the baby. The infant interactions are so glitchy. They're like so glitchy. Are we thinking about it? Are we... <laughs> I feel like I don't know why it doesn't work. It's like super glitched. I wonder... They're all just standing here. I wonder if I start resetting. Sometimes like one of the Sims is glitching out the other ones. Because we can't, I don't even think we can like meet him ourselves. We could read a toddler book. I don't know, I'm gonna try it again, but. Oh, here they go, here they go! Yay! Hold on, we need pictures, hold on. Oh my gosh, our grandbaby! I love it, and then he's about to meet. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I am. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you guys ever think we were gonna be here with James? I'm like so proud of him. <laughs> you laughed when I said, "Dad, look at what I made." <laughs> like he was a. A school project. I just feel like that's something James would say. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, new boo. He said, oh, new boo. Okay, I want a picture from this side. Oh my goodness. My grandbaby. This is the cutest child I think I've ever seen in the game. He is so cute. Okay, this is cute. I don't know where our great-grandparents are. I'm controlling James, so that way maybe I can have James introduce them to the grandparents. What a cutie! Okay, that was worth, like, waiting for them to finally pick them up. 
So let me have James. How do I queue it? Do I have to click on the infant to say introduce to? Introduce. I guess you have to meet them first. I love how they're all waiting out here so respectfully. We weren't invited in. We'll just wait. We'll just wait outside. Here, James, you you know them. Haven't seen them in a while. Suli, suli. If that baby doesn't live, you may cry. Uh, Me too. Yeah, James is like, this is your Lano. papa. They definitely Lano are going to say Lano. mama and papa. That's what oh, I call my grandparents. Hey, how you been? Hey, Winston, you're a lot bigger than the last time. Well, actually, I've never seen you. I've actually never seen you now that I think about it. Um, look, Grandpa's thinking about woohoo. I swear to God, these guys. Okay, do you know both of them? Here, Kiona, let me control you to make sure you meet them as well. Let's just control Kiona and then... Hi, so nice to meet you. Let's do howdy. This is fun because this is the kind of stuff I feel like I gloss over in my gameplay a lot is like really expanding the families. Really, really, really expanding them. Um, hold on. I missed some stuff. So let me scroll while we're paused. Um, you used to call your uh, grandpa and papa. I called both sides of my grandparents, mama and papa. Um, okay, you guys have lots of mushies to save Sims. That's good. That's good. I know, I just was scrolling up because I saw that I missed one of yours, Monica. Okay, I got it. James would be like, look at my, wait, posterity? I put those seeds in. <laughs> I don't know what posterity means. I feel like I, uh... James did meet, did we meet Winston though? He knows his grandparents, but did he meet oh, Winston? <laughs> Oh. oh my god, you guys. This is where this is where William learned how to be so flirty from his father. Here, just do respectful, I guess. Posterity is all your children and grandchildren. I love that. Hi, so nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Westbrook. It's so lovely that you guys could come and visit. What's for sure? Because we're doing a lot of Sims meeting other Sims, and we do not want to lose this progress. That is for sure. It's the country air that gets them going. Okay, now that you guys have met, let's make sure. Uh, oh, the babes are sleeping though. They're sleeping. Oh, I don't. I'm, uh, um, we're gonna wake him up. We're gonna wake him up. Oh my god, seriously, you two? Why aren't they so cute? No, don't be sick, Madison. Did they just go in the TP outside? I swear to god, if they're outside woohooing, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, I'm like breaking like a, a cardinal rule of... Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to check everyone for resentful no prom invite moodlets later because I did skip prom. Here, James. Introduce to grandpa. Great grandpa, I guess. Great, great grandpa. Oh! Yes, grandma met her great grandbaby. Oh, he likes her. I love this. Four generations of Sims all under one roof. This is cute. I love it. Okay. Now you guys have to switch. Here, James, why don't you teach Winston how to shoot bows and arrows? Here, reset mom so she'll stop doing arrows. Why don't you go to show him because you think it's so cool. Uh. You like to save all your VODs on YouTube for posterity. I like feel like I've never used it, heard anyone use that term like IRL. Like that's like such a new term to me. I don't know. I've always heard like legacy, but like how does the word posterity differ from legacy? 
Um, my high is, is it on cooldown or sold out? <laughs> but I will hydrate. Thank you, Tiny Forest. Um, okay, so we just have to ha we just need to flip the grandparents real quick. So this one needs to go to great grandpa. And then this one needs to go to grandma, and then all the grandparents know all the children. And we should be good to go. It's an old term. It's in the Bible. That's really interesting. I love etym etymology. Isn't that what it's called? Like the, the like, origin of words? Or, like, I don't know. I'm saying it wrong. But, like, like where words came from. I love, like, researching that kind of stuff. I'm, like, such a nerd. Here you go. Hi, Grandpa. Jeez, this is like a whole an all day affair, which is kind of true in the real world. Oh, we've got to get our goats out of our inventory. I love it. Hi, hi, baby. Oh, you liked grandma a lot more. You definitely liked your grandma more. Oh wait, we're not controlling either of you. Um, Google meaning prosperity, state of being prosperous, long period of peace and prosperity. Yeah, but y'all are saying a different word, right? Like y'all are saying posterity, not prosperity, right? That lip. I know. I, I'm i not controlling great grandma and grandpa, so I don't know for sure. I don't know that great grandma met this one. I don't think she did. Oh, did she leave? She ran into town. She's like, I gotta, while we're, while we're out, I gotta run to Mrs. Hooper to grab a couple things. Okay. I think everyone knows everyone. Wait, who are you? Who are you? Devonti? Stafford. I have never seen you before and you're in full on cowboy attire. Where the heck did you come from? Okay, do we have a bathroom around here? Okay, Madison, you go do that. Tiona, can you make some dinner for everyone? We'll have dinner while we're here. Go grill up some bison stew. Here and William, why don't you put Kua to bed? Or I think he already fell. No, 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 sorry. James Jr. James Jr. I got him backwards. Wait, you're not introduced? What the hell? Did he only meet one of them? Posterity is your children and their children and their children. Uh, yeah, prosperity is about money. Prosperity, I know that one. With a horse pack, you need a horse trainer. Oh, so it must have generated one. I know. I'm surprised Keanu's dad hasn't made a feast either. Look at look at Winston reading his book out here. Look at him, a little cutie. Oh my god, not Madison helping cook on her own. Madison's like, oh, Keona, let me help you with that, honey. You don't have to do that all by yourself. <laughs> here, Keona, call everyone to eat. She's like, let me just help you. Did I leave anyone out? We'll have to go. We're not going to have enough time today to go to see Betty. So we'll have to go meet Betty. Betty later. Get it, James. Have you been working on your archery, buddy? Okay, let's all have some dinner. I don't think we have a table. So you guys are going to have to just eat wherever. Kiana, put the baby down so you can call everyone to eat, please. Not them all just watching the baby cr scream. As nouns, the difference between legacy and posterity is that legacy is money or posterity bequeathed to someone in a will while posterity... I'm learning so much. This has turned into like a whole lesson. Legacy is what you leave behind. Pos posterity is specifically what you leave behind to your family. Yeah, man, there's so much nuance. Loving this conversation. I know I probably missed a lot. And if anyone like put a chat in there that was like not related to the posterity conversation and I missed it, feel free to just drop it back in. Okay, are we all eating? We're all getting us some nice bison stew. Is this a sand castle? <laughs> oh my God, the outlaw's here. 
doing the outlaw is literally here doing archery with james what oh my gosh i learn stuff at every stream too whether it's sims related or not i learn something at every stream for sure all right james you do your thing buddy are we ready to go I think William's about to have a potty accident. <gasps> I'm going to say yes to this because the backstory between Henry and his dad is that they have a difficult or like they had like a difficult slash strict like relationship. I'm going to say yes because it's interesting that that's happening again on its own. So I'm just going to say yes. What's dad judging us about now? Um... <laughs> Gelba. Big brains, it's all kept in your mushroom head. Here, William, run to the outhouse real quick, and then we'll get everyone home. Here, I don't want Madison to pass out, so. All right, where is... I want Madison to go give Kiona a hug by, unless she's, like, passed out. Oh. Are you taking care of the babes? Someone help this poor woman. Madison, come help this baby. Oh wait, James is on it! What a good dad! James is like, what's wrong, little baby? <laughs> oh, Madison is already on it! I love this! I'm not even controlling them right now! I just love seeing my sims like in their autonomous element. Madison's like, let me show you, James. Let me show you. I think Madison is sick. Madison's not feeling good. Okay, well, she's taking care of the baby, so we won't... We'll just say we gave him hugs and head back home. Maybe William's dad shouldn't meet Frankie if he is strict judging. Um, I think it'll be fine. It'll we'll let, Whatever happens with the story is what will, what will happen. Let's see. So let's go back home. See what the kids have been up to. I keep wanting to select the Hoopers as our parents. I like, and then I'll have to remove everyone from our control when we get there. Where's Matt? Oh, I'm on Madison. Okay, that's good. Your favorite animation is the infant falling asleep. I like, some of my favorites are, um, I do love the like introduce one. That one's super cute. All of the different like snuggle and cuddle interactions with the kids are really cute. And I'm trying to think, there's like another random animation that I really, really like. They are, they're like, they're kind of Madison's adoptive parents in a like unofficial way. Um, Madison's not feeling well. She is headachy. Um, so here, come get you some water. And then come just get you an early night. It's been a long day for you. Can you imagine the day that Madison has had? Like she had to like cook the cobbler, like get the house cleaned. You know, we didn't see her doing all of those things, but like, you know, family was coming over. It's been a long, stressful day and she's not feeling well. Um, you're pretty war. Everyone's wore out. They've had a long day. Go to bed. We'll take these guys out of our control. Where is James? Right here. Okay. There we go. Hold on, let me pause real quick. <clears throat> I just downloaded a new mod called Sentiments and Expands. <gasps> I saw that one. I saw that it expands on all of the cuddles and loves and holding toddlers and infants. I um I saw it the other day, but I don't think I downloaded it. I downloaded the new mod that's out for elders. Um, not into this save file, my other save, but I want to test them out. And then if we like them, we can add them in. I'm not controlling grandpa. So if he's got a pee, he needs to take himself there. Um, Aria, thank you for the hydrate. Let me take a look at where we're at on taking a break. Okay, in about 15 minutes, we'll take a break. So I'm not controlling the grandparents, so they're just going to do their thing. Madison, get you some water and go to bed. Josie's like, what? How? We're going to say the kids came with us, but they just weren't there. Um, here, Josie, get you some cobbler. Lucy, what are you doing? 
Lucy, your nights and days are backwards. Of course, being best friends with Wyatt. Oh my God, do we think, <gasps> did Wyatt just tell her about his crush? Did you just tell her about the guy that you have a crush on at? Oh no. Come get leftovers, hopefully. Yeah, get you some fish head stew. Get some leftover stew. I know, where is Winston? Is he outside? Winston, what are you doing, buddy? I, last time we did a sleepover, we weren't able to control them. Here, maybe we'll just have Lucy call him over. Maybe that'll get him outside. There he goes. Come meet your nieces and your nephews, even though you're younger than them. Window watching. He was a peeping Tom is what he was. Oh, I forgot those animals are in. Here, Lucy, meet your your kid uncle. Hi, Unc. Maybe she calls him Unc. Howdy introduction. How you settling in, kiddo? What do you think about Chestnut yeah. Ridge so far? Junga. Omigo. Smurfs. Wait, can I like prompt something with the piano? Because that would be so cute. Or, oh, can she put him to bed? That's what we'll do. So I can control him. Oh, but I don't know if that's an option. Oh, I can only put Josie to bed. It should let you put your sleepover guests to bed. Can I stay, please? I know, isn't he cute? I want her to do like a, an... Do we, does she have parenting? No. Dang it, I don't think, we can't influence to do anything. I did assign the bed, but I can't like send him to bed. I wanted her to do like the tuck him in. Like that's another animation that I really love, the like tuck in animation. And let me double check that control any sim doesn't work. Yeah, it's like it puts them in the household, but it like they're grayed out like you can't um, It's not compatible, which is fine, which is fine Once he is in bed, then you can click in it Okay, stay over guests are chaotic you they are you have no control So last time what we did was we moved them into the household, but I didn't want to deal with that mm -hmm. <laughs> He's scared of the dark. So she's like, I'll I'll take care of it for you <laughs> Even though that's not his bed. They are a pain. They are. We're going to just make the most of it. We're going to do the best we can. I just wish The Sims was a bit different in how you control. Like how it gives you control over Sims in like your house. Because I could put them in a group to have a little bit more functionality. All right. Josie, why don't you work on... What will work on your... Let me move marbles, because marbles actually builds their motor skill, and her motor is really low. So for right now, I think I'm going to put marbles right here and put this. Why can't I put it in household inventory? There you go. Okay, household inventory. What did it sell? I think it sold the actual puzzle. Whatever. You guys don't need your, <laughs> you don't need suitcases. Get those out of the way. Josie could play with Winston and build the jigsaw. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back tomorrow and have them do a puzzle. Cause look, I hung the first puzzle that they did on the wall. So this was one of the puzzles that they created. So I want them to do a bunch of puzzles to do the wall and her mental skill. But right now her motor is the lowest. So she can come play marbles with um, with Winston. Hey, Madison is sleeping. Wyatt. Dude, you guys are like attached at the hip. What is going on with you guys? Make it a club where the goals are sleep, pee, eat, bathe. Um, they are options. Those are our options. I forgot when we were over at James, I wanted to set up a family group and I, a family club and I totally forgot. I need to write that. Let me actually write that in my notebook and I can do that like off cam, like get the family club set up that I want. I'm going to learn how to play legacy style gameplay. I'm going to figure it out eventually. 
Looks like she's reading with the override. Um, did she have her phone out? Okay, let me zoom out. So I'm gonna keep it running while I write this down here. We'll watch. We'll watch these guys for a second. It's called Precious Moments. I'm gonna have to look at that. Thank you for posting it. Um, okay, I need to find my page where I write my to dos. Handy dandy notebook. Here we go. Because I'm going to have to, like, go around inviting the different sims to the club. But the infants won't be able to be in it, I don't think. Mel, welcome in. How are you? What you doing, Wyatt? You want to join? Oh, you can just watch. Yeah, you're watching. Giving pointers. What's Lucy doing? Lucy, you've been being kind of weird. Come work on your song. Resume whimsical tune. Come get some music going. I don't like that you guys are all awake. Here, Wyatt, go get a bath while no one needs it. Okay, good. She's about to... Lo motor level four. You have a long way to go, sweetheart, but you're getting somewhere. Let's just speed you guys up for a second. Here goes Lucy. I want her to perform at church. Oh, it's Sunday! It's Sunday in the game! Yes! So we're gonna take a break in just a second, and then we, when we come back, we're gonna go in. There's a mod that I have. We have to play from the pastor's perspective, but we can bring the Westbrooks to church. So we're gonna try it out together and see how it works, because I'm really curious. I'm gonna pause my Spotify music so it's not clashing with uh, Lucy. I love when they play music in the game. I think she's... Is she level 10 already? She is. But she's only level 7 singing. She's got to work on her singing. She is. She's going to get married at the very beginning of spring. So we're day 8 of 14 of winter. Right after the holidays, she's going to get married. But she's so ready to get married. She's ready. Rose, thank you for putting the suitcase over, Ryan. What's Grandma doing? Y'all can go to bed, you know. I assigned you guys beds. Josie, you need a bath too, but finish up your marbles. Um, I've wanted to go to church. I just didn't have like a way to make it functional. They're not engaged. So I think, didn't we say, I can't remember exactly what we said last time, but he's gonna, I think he's gonna propose to her during Winterfest. Like either like during Winterfest or right after, just depend on when, when it happens. Um, I really want to remodel the church a little bit. I did a little bit of decorating right before stream. I changed up some of the wallpapers and I added a couple rugs. Um, Cause I looked up pictures of Wild West churches and they really are just all wood. Like they're just, there's nothing fancy at all. Uh, but I was just like not liking it. So I still kind of want to do like a redo on it, but it is what it is for now um, Grandma, please don't burn the house down. I'm pretty sure you're level 10 cooking, but Is grandpa sleeping? Nope Grandpa's also cooking. Did they not communicate? Could you guys communicate? You're both cooking <laughs> They better not be using up our ingredients for that. Well, I guess it would make sense, actually, if they were using our ingredients. I'm excited, and I'm, I downloaded a mod, and I want to see how it works. But you play from the pastor's perspective. Did you win? Who won? Josie won! Marble Master! Okay, go get a bath. So you're good to go for church later. Lucy, okay, grandma's cooking. Telepathic cooking. Okay, let's see, where are we at on time? Did you make more than one? Or did you make one serving? Did you just, I have a mod where they can't, oh no, I think I have a mod where she can't grab food. So I'm gonna have to call her to her own meal. Lucy, make sure, let, let grandma eat the food she cooked. Okay. 
And then why don't you serve up breakfast for everyone since grandma only made a plate for herself. Thanks, grandma. Here, we'll make... We'll make waffles. Oh, we can't make enough of those, though. Okay. We'll do... <laughs> French toast. I'm pretty sure he probably only made one as well because they have a tendency to do that. I need him to be able to eat his meal. Here you go, Grandpa. What are you doing, Winston? Digging through the... Digging through the cow shed? Okay, Josie, why don't you come... Okay, it's not 6 a.m. yet, so the chickens aren't out there. Here, get out of the cold, you child. Oh, they just kissed. Y'all are cute. My sims that love each other so very much. Okay, William, come get ready for church. Oh, no. Actually, Will, you get to go take a bath out in the outhouse one because you're a gentleman. And your wife gets the indoor tub. Okay, y'all get ready for church. I love seeing our family over though. Wait, are y'all why are y'all tired of Grandpa? Okay. Yay. French toast is ready. Here, grab you that, because then you gotta get ready for church as well. Okay. No, Madison, you're not going all the way outside to wash your hands. Just go take a bath. I wonder if she's still sick. It's a meme. I, I don't know a lot of memes. So if there's like a, a meme reference, what's dirty? Filthy surroundings? I have no idea what's dirty. Is one of the counters dirty? Really? Grandma? Sims doing sit-ups. Time to take a shot. Remember when you guys said that? Every time your Sims do sit-ups or push-ups, take a shot. There's a mod that's supposed to make them do it a lot less, but... Um, Wyatt, your needs are good. Josie's pretty much good. Madison's not that hungry. Okay, I think we're going to pause right here. As everyone's in good shape. And then... Um, I'll go to the world map because we're going to have to go into the pastor's lot and then figure out how the church mod works uh your child just told you where the line came from it's a movie called holes interesting i know which movie that is actually i know which movie that is remember how he treated james as a child it's character building he does have a mood though right like doesn't he it's based off oh is that movie based off a book that's super cool Sim, Emily, you have no idea what's going on in decades. You tried to watch the other ones, but ended up falling asleep. Oh, no. Well, if you tell me what's sort of like the last thing you remember, if you want like a high level, like this is what happened. Um, it was it's been a little bit messy because like we were going to do something different for Gen 2 that I switched it up. So it's had a lot of twists and turns. But here we are um back to say holes is great i should read it oh my gosh I've, i'm in my book reading era right now too so i'll have to add that one to my list um but i've seen the movie i'm pretty sure i don't really remember anything from it but i'm pretty sure i've seen it a while back um so anyways okay let's get geared up to do quick quick break and then we'll get back and we'll, or come back and we'll try out the church mod and just see what this lovely family gets into. We have to go visit Betty and meet that meet the baby. So we'll do that too. Claire, welcome in, welcome in. The quote goes, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. And he goes, well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, hold on. Let me get music and BRB.
I'm back. Ah, oh, did you guys have a good break? Let me see. I didn't have a scroll before it came back on. Oh my gosh, look at all the emotes. You guys really brought it during break today. Oh my goodness, I love it. They're just so pretty. It like makes it makes chat look so pretty. I love it. Um, wait, let's see. Which ones are Jin's? Wait, I want to see Jin's. Oh, I love the hearts. Oh my gosh. I love Jin's hearts. Those are so cute. Are they, Monica, are they showing up for you as like the code instead of the, instead of the emotes? Because I noticed that the other day I normally watch you guys' streams on my computer. Um, but the other day I was watching, I can't remember who I was watching on my, on my phone and on my phone, some of the people's emotes weren't showing up. Unless you mean, why aren't you seeing them like in your emote list or whatever? Um, okay. Let's get back to it. So before we dive in, let me show you guys, have any of you used this mod before? It's, um... It's a Wicked Pixel functional church mod. I like was looking up church mods the other day because there's like a couple different ones out there. But this one looked like it kind of does what, um, let me make sure, can you, yeah, you guys can see it. Um, I've already added the church leader aspiration to the pastor. Um, and then it works through a computer. So I think I'm gonna have to hide a computer on the lot because I don't have one right now, but they can like chart, start the church service. When it starts, um, it says up to eight church members will spawn. Oh, so that might actually be a problem though. For some reason, I thought I remembered when I read this that I can pick. Okay, I think we might be able to set who the church members are. That's what I'm hoping. Um, you have rambunctious religions. Um, I've seen that one. I've never played with, I've actually never played with a church mod at all. So I don't know. We're going to do like a little play, a playthrough with it and see how it works. And if we don't love it, then we'll take it out and we'll just play pretend. But, um, I was like, let's give it a try. Like, why not? Why not? So we're going to load into Father Daily and see what happens. If we can't assign who comes though, that we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna just not do it. But we've gotta hide a computer for him so he can actually like, um, make church happen. And I don't wanna use a custom content one cause I'm scared it won't be compatible. So I'm just gonna maybe grab like a laptop, but I'm not gonna, I don't have anywhere to put this. Can we build, hold on. <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna build a little, uh, we're gonna hide it in a basement. I don't wanna mess up the terrain though. Wait, it didn't do it. Wait, what was the button? You guys said you can hold a button and see and see the floor plan from up above. What is that? What, how do I do that again? One of you taught me before. Or I can just do it from up here, I guess. Never mind, we're fine. Nope, see that messed up the I don't want to put it there. We'll just hide it over here somewhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're just going to we're just going to hide it. You accidentally do it all the time. I, yeah, I can't remember exactly what it, why is, what? Oh, I was like, what, what is actually happening? Okay. I just need a, I just need a surface. I don't care which one. and a laptop. T for top view. That'll do this, but there's a way where it'll show the outline of something. The wall height is what messes up the foundations. Yeah, I've seen that. It, I've been having that a lot lately, but we, it doesn't really matter. I think this will be fine. Um, just because we're gonna, we're not gonna really have to look at it all that much, but I'm gonna, 
just put soil. I always put soil on the outside of my basement. I'm just gonna do do it on the whole thing, honestly. Just so it kind of it just kind of disappears. We don't we don't really we don't really need to see it. Okay. But I don't I don't think okay, here's the thing. I don't think he needs access to the computer. I guess that's going to be a problem. But let me see church service. See, start a church service. I think this is just going to bring random sims though. That's not what I want. That's definitely not what I want. Um, he's such a haughty pastor, such a pity. He technically got married and had a baby in the other save file, um, which wasn't supposed to happen. Wait, did he need to get to the computer? Let me see, did he have a, a oh, oh no, we do need access. Dang it, dang it. But I have a feeling, okay, we can't, we can't choose who comes. Let me look at the mod real quick. Because it's real cool. They can, like, offer prayers. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna just... I think we'll just go... Build it like a back shed at the back of the church and lock the door. Yeah, okay. I think now that I have a better idea of how this works, I will... We'll just put... We're just gonna put a pin in testing the mod itself, I think. Unless anybody's like really, really, really wants to see it right now. But I think we'll just go back to the main household, have them travel and do it the way I was originally planning to do, which is just play pretend and control the pastor. Um, and then I'll have to do like what Rose was saying, make like a little shed or something in the back. Because I want to redo this lot a little bit anyway. Um, Because I think right now, if he starts the church service, it's just going to be random sims. Um, and we'll try it. We'll try it a different time. So let's just go back to our main household because I want Lucy to be able to like sing and play the piano and he's going to give like his sermon and they'll be sitting. So it'll be fine. This is mainly so Lucy can Lucy can do her thing. I could get a screenshot of her at church. Um, it's like their church service right before the holidays. So, you know, they got to go do their thing. But maybe we can have the mod start the church service once we're already there by controlling him. We might can like we might find like a workaround. We'll have to see. Um We will say. Travel with the whole fam. And then I wonder if I have a mailbox on that lot. It is set to residential. So I hope I have one hidden somewhere so I can change them all into their formal really easily. I want the hoop. Well, let me see if I have enough room and then we'll invite the hoopers. Grandma. And the hoopers. Aw, man. Here, Josie, we'll bring you. We'll summon you. Love that Lucy will sing with the saloon girls and the church choir. I feel like Lucy's much more of a church choir girl. Like when she was little, she was like mesmerized by the, the saloon. But then now as she's gotten older, I don't think she like wants to perform at the saloon so much. But she got to perform when she was a little kid. And it was cute. I really liked that stream where we brought her. It was kind of glitchy that day, but we bring Josie here. Okay, do I have a... Do I have a mailbox hidden somewhere? Because if I don't, I have to, because if I didn't, it would definitely spawn somewhere. Oh, knock on the door. <laughs> it took us down into the basement. Um, Let's see, does anybody see a mailbox? Wait, hold on, wait. What are y'all saying? I have the I have the parchment computer, yeah. I was just curious if the custom content ones were gonna have like the extra thing. Um 
There is a mailbox hidden somewhere, guys. I know it because if not, it would have spawned. <laughs> Where did I put your mailbox, sir? I would. Oh, there it is. See, I told you guys I hid it. I hid it in the back. How do you do this again? MC cheats. Here we go. Okay, that took me a second. That took me a second of intense focus. Oh, gosh. Yeah, shut your dumb face, Rose. <laughs> That's like Whistle's words. Oh my God, Rose, if you streamed, I would watch you all day, every day. Without hesitation. Yeah, I hit it so well I couldn't find it. I like hit it even for myself. Uh, Mr. Hooper, why do you not have a formal outfit? Why are you just missing two random outfits? I didn't do his formal? What the heck? That's not the one I wanted. Let's get in your cold weather. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Everyone come... Take your seats. I'm not going to be able to control the grandparents, but maybe they'll all... And then let's control the pastor. Um, let's see. Honeybugs! Thank you for the hydrate, Jen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing good. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Oh my god, Grandma looks so pretty with her hat and her blue dress. Lucy, you are gonna come over here. You're gonna play... I don't think we have anything that's gonna sound churchy, but... Maybe we can do... Like a classical... I wish I knew what these all sound like, sounded like. I don't know, we'll see what it's... Wait, that's not Lucy. This is Lucy. <laughs> Play a concerto for the group. And you come up here and give an energized speech. Oh my god, little Winston! I didn't know that was his outfit! He looks so cute! If it's an organ, there's a church... Oh! We should switch it then! Oh well, we'll just let- we'll leave it for now, but we'll- we'll ha- we'll fix it for next time. Okay, it's definitely not churchy, but you know, whatever. Whatever, they're in church. Let me get rid of these things on their heads real quick. We're at church! It looks like we're at church! It's good for screenshots. <laughs> I hate how just like dark it is in here. Oh my god, I love this! It worked! Madison! Madison's like... Madison, we are in church, honey. <laughs> Madison, your daughter is performing. Come sit your butt down. Oh my god, Josie's sitting next... I want to see them from this angle. Oh my god, they're so cute! 
I was thinking about doing more like shiplap, like white kind of like rusted walls. I was trying some stuff out before stream. I'm gonna work on it some more. Hold on, Lucy. I want you to um sing. Here, go here. <laughs> Grandma, sit your booty down. Yeah, I have that like go get to get to church. Oh my god, he is preaching. You get it, buddy. You get it. Sing. I don't know. No. Just everyone sing your prayers. They all sing Maisie Gross. I know I need to put an organ. Okay, you can stop talking, buddy. We're singing now. We're singing. I don't know what she is singing. Grandma's so proud. She's risen to her feet. They have the same top on, I just realized. Get it, Lucy. Uh, uh, Mr. Hooper's standing in the back. Hey, the singing doesn't work as well, but the... Did you stop singing? Yeah, you're almost done. Good job, Luce. You did amazing. <laughs> All right, everyone can... Uh, here... Welcome everyone. A little handshake. Welcome to my congregation. So happy you guys could uh, be here for the holidays. Don't forget to put in your uh, what's it called? Don't what's the the collection? Don't forget to uh, put money in the collection. Uh. <laughs> Lucy, go play another piano song so we got some music. Okay, make your rounds, meeting everyone. Oh my god! Why is your relationship with... That's fake news. That is fake news. You're like best friends with Mrs. Hooper. <laughs> Why do they have such a... 10%. Yep, make sure to give your 10%. Go make your rounds to your congregation. Oh, now she's playing a good song. Thank you, Lucy, for the lovely music. Good to see you, Mrs. Hooper. Come give William a handshake. We should be outside the church doing this part, but whatever. Good to see the family, man. Everyone's growing up so quickly. Oh, uh, I wanted to bring Lydia's gravestone and have her buried here, but I forgot. Not the kids goofing around at church. Of course they are. Of course they are. Good to see you, Madison. Thanks for bringing the holidays. Got a knee. Big plans for Winterfest. <laughs> I'm not even using the mod, actually. I'm not even using the mod. I just ended up playing pretend because they... The, um... But the piano is from the CC pack, yeah. Is there anything special that I didn't notice because this is the CC? Um... No, I was wondering if it had like the organ music. Oh, she can s She can sing and play at the same time. I forgot about that. I forgot she can sing and play. That's what we should have had her do. I'm good at storytelling. I feel like I'm like, I do not feel like I'm doing great right now. We're pretending though. I think a lot of people left, but that's fine. Yes, Lucy, this is what we wanted. Get it, Lucy. Okay, now we know. That's what we want to do next time. Oh my god, Lucy, I love you. Can y'all hear it? Let me see. 
is it? Yeah, it's playing. <laughs> she said Carpetu Mazuli. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, Lucy. Thank you. Thank you for that performance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Yeah, claps for Lucy. I don't know why my camera is so dark today. I just looked at, I just saw my, my photo. Okay, Josie, you come make sure you, we're gonna say he's like blessing, giving us our blessings. Make sure you go get your blessing because none of these guys know this, know him anymore. So you guys come. Thank you for such an amazing sermon today, pastor. Make sure you're doing your Bible studies. Wistful! Happy three months! House of the Rising Sun is now stuck in your head. All right. Oh, good. It's only 1130. So now we could go out for like lunch. I'm so sad. I cannot for the life of me get the restaurant working on Rose's amazing lot. Cause what I feel like they would do right now is as a family, go out for lunch. Stop controlling the pastor. Um, but I have tried everything. I've tried like doing the, like turning fame off and on and like the whole thing. And like, I just cannot get, um, so yeah, the buffet table is up. Is the buffet table already upstairs, Rose? If not, we can put one when we get there. Um, because I was thinking about that too when I saw you guys talk about that on Wistful Stream. Um, so let's go ahead and travel. Lucy, Josie, um, Winston, Grandpa, Grandma, and then... I think I have too many. So let me unselect some that I can. We're going to have Frankie. Oh, but the baby can't come. So we're going to have to go back. Over. We're going to have to go over to meet Betty anyway. So we'll just bring the fam. The immediate fam that went to church. Okay. I've never used Carl's Dine Out mod. I've actually never used it because I used to not really take my Sims to restaurants very much. That's not something I usually did a lot in my gameplay. Um, so I never tried it. Do you recommend it? Should I get it, Rose? Or are you asking in case I have like a conflict or something? Andrew, how was it? Did you love the premiere? Um, we went over to James and Kiona's and the babies met their grandparents and great grandparents. And then we just went to church and Lace Lucy sang for us. Um, we had to kind of play pretend a little bit, but it, it went as well as, you know, anything can go in Sims. So let me see how this serve food. Oh my God, I love this. Hold on. I kind of want to do roasted duck. Roasted duck. Does she have to walk up here to do it though? Or will it just, because if she has to walk up, I want to have everyone... Everyone go here together, and then I'll do it. Serve roasted duck. Okay, we'll, we're going to try it. Okay. Let me look above while they walk. So turning fame off and installing Carl's mod is what worked for you. I'll have to try it, Amy. I see it. I see it. I see it. I missed that one. And it has worked perfectly every time for a change. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know Becca Boo got restaurants working in hers. And I got restaurants working in a different save. I just cannot get it working on this save file. But I think it might be because of my, like, NPC mod. That, I, like, no random towny stuff. Um, how many servings? Hopefully this is enough. Um... I wonder if they're going to all go sit somewhere random, but it's okay. I can control them. Well, I can't. We're out for post-church lunch.
And you can be in and out in like four hours instead of four days. Oh my God, are you guys seriously? Like all of these tables and chairs in this is where you guys... Oh, is it not letting them sit at any of these because of a restaurant? Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh well, just ignore the fact that we're all just sitting all over the place. I love that Winston came and sat next to... I love that Winston is in between these two though. So I need to change this back from not a restaurant. Oh God. Oh no. Hold on, let me see if I can change it while we're here. I probably have to change it from the world map. Because I want to make it, turn it back into retail is what I want to do. Okay, save. Oh yeah, you told me that before, DSims. I don't think I've done that yet. I don't think I took the mod out let them spawn and then put them back in. I probably, that's what I should try to. I need to write, actually, let me take a look. I'm gonna take a screenshot real quick of your message. Oh, I remember exactly what to, what to do. Okay. Note to myself. It's all those little things that I forget about after stream. Shania is here. Trying to meet William's parents. No, no, no. Here, let me help you out. There you go, Grandma. You're fine. All right, Josie, you're fine too. Why don't the kids, you and Winston, come out and play around on here? Um, hold on. I'm gonna have to micromanage this so bad. Where's your uncle, your kid uncle? Okay, you guys come play. And the grown-ups can do grown-up stuff. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Westbrook. I'm the daughter-in-law you should have had. I know, I wish I can't control any of them. Is, uh... Here, William, call your grandma. Oh, good, she's gonna walk off herself. I was like, call your mother over. Call your mother over. Oh my god, you guys! It's Peckaboo! Peckaboo, are you here? Hold on, I have to wait to see if Peckaboo's here. Oh my goodness! What you doing, girl? I love it! <laughs> she looks lovely. She had a lot of pink stuff, so I gave her like a pink, like a, the, I didn't have a lot of options. I love it. <laughs> Here, I'm going to take a picture just in case so I could post it in her, her Discord later. I love it. I'm stuck in tab mode. I can't get out. I know. I think she might have had to pop out, but I took a screenshot. I took a screenshot. Yeah, I saw Nanny Bell. Honeybugs, you're messaging her. Okay, I love that. Sick of booze. Don't talk to I Shania, Becca. Don't don't talk to her. <laughs> don't talk to Shania. She's bad news. Ah. Hold on, we'll go back. What are you? Who are you watching out here? Oh my God, Daryl is out here. Remember, ice rinks were um, invented right around the, this time. They'll go skate around. That was, um... That's, uh, Kiona. This this is her husband. This is her husband. Kile. That's Beckaboo and... Beckaboo! You didn't miss it! But hold on, I want to show you the screenshot because you are, like, in a very cute animation. Hold on. But there you are. You're out with Kile after church. I mean, you guys weren't at church with us. Oh, hold on. I opened it on the wrong. Look, you were looking. Look at you looking at Kile. I love it. Do you love it? I hope you like your outfit. I switched your glasses too to make them look a little bit more 1800s, but I kept them and I did your hat and everything. But there you are. Looking so happy out with Kile. So Minus the fact that Shania is, you know, kind of trying to get in with you guys, but... 
Gucci peachy. I love it. Peachy. Now I want to see my Sims self in like decades clothes. I don't know. How have I not Michelle. done that yet? All you decades <laughs> players out there, have you played decades with your Sims self? That's what I want to know right now because I have it and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. Hold on. We have to come meet Where Becca Boo. What are we doing? Get our butts up here. And we have to re-meet Keele because he's so cute. Thank you for luck. Okay, we'll have them come meet them. You're putting yourself in when you get to 1984. Oh my gosh, I love it. Whistle, there will be a chess O'Shaughnessy. That's so awesome. That's a good idea. You're gonna do it, Amy. Oh my gosh, Amy, you're take pictures when you do your outfits for your sim cell for your decades. I want to see, cause she's so cute. D Sims, you did. I was wondering, I had a feeling D Sims that you did. No, so Becca Boo, uh, Becca Boo came to be here yesterday because I realized her sim, Kile, that we had put in at the beginning, he was originally married to Sienna, but I forgot to export them from my old save file. So Kile lost his wife. So I was watching Becca Boo's stream last night. So I was like, hey, Becca Boo, can I put your sim self in as Kile's husband or Kile's wife since I accidentally yeeted his family? So that is how Becca Boo came to be. <laughs> Can we add our sim cells every generation? I'll have to think about it. I feel like I, this one was just more of a, like, I felt bad because I got accidentally deleted his family. I'd probably do, like, maybe, like, limited redemptions into this one just because it's there's not a lot of room for a lot of sims. There's not a lot of space. Um, No worries, Amy. Get some rest. Get some rest. You want to put your sim self in the 1500s? I kind of want to add my sim self to to my ultimate decades. Just have her kind of walking around in the in the background. Oh. You want to do it in your stream? Yeah, wistful. That would be so fun because yours is like medieval vibes. Okay, did everybody meet? Shania is not budging. This is a site I never thought I'd see. Shania and Madison. Shania, you are just lingering, child. Lamina Galpa Watini. Becca, you always thought you should have been in the medieval era. Me too. Ugh, the medieval time? Like, I don't know like which part exactly is my favorite, but maybe like the 16 or 1700s. Maybe like the 1700s. Shania wants her screen time. Here, we're not wasting time to go to the bathroom. Hold on, let me check in on... Is Josie still out here? What happened to Winston? Where'd Winston go? Why don't you go skate with... Skate with Winston and get your motor up over there, too. Go do that while we're out. And then, let's see. Oh, Lucy! I didn't know you were up here. Oh, Becca was leaving. I think y'all all met though. Okay. Let's go ahead and start getting ready to. You guys can come s do a little skate. I think Grandma, Grandma, and Grandpa left. They're like, we're too old for this. They they went home to get a, a nap. They went to church, had lunch, and they were like, we need a nap. They went home. Winston's still here hanging out with us. Okay, let's not leave a mess or this place will be stinking the next time we get here. Okay, I think I got them all. Keele, don't talk to that woman. Uh, no, James. Sorry, buddy. Okay, everybody have a little skate and then we're gonna... Then we're gonna get back home. We're just having a nice, cozy winter Sunday. We're gonna say, for storytelling purposes, they were out getting some like pre -win pre Winterfest shopping done. Madison went over to the shops. You guys, what is happening over here right now? He is vibing. This is where is this what Boss Hog does when he needs to get away from Darla? He just sneaks out to town and has a little a little rock on the on the porch. Um, did I put the Undertaker back in? I 
can't remember. For some reason, he was never spawning in the last save either. Um, so I'll double check. I'll write that on my list too. I can't remember. I know I exported everyone. Like he was saved for sure. But I have a couple empty lots now. So I have a spot that I can put him. If he's not already in here. Okay. Yeah, because I want to see him. I don't think we ever saw him show up. He, like, never showed up the last time for some reason. Yeah, I know. I wish... Actually, I should have switched it for ice for this time of year. You, you have to put a whole different object, right? Like, the ice skating and the rollerblading, you can't just, like, click and switch them, right? Yeah, I think it's, like, a different object. I know, they're all falling down. <laughs> what happened to Josie? Oh, Josie's talking to... Oh, I didn't lock the doors back down. We're up here with uh, Eli's mom. <laughs> I actually feel like Eli's family would be more likely to live here, close to the blacksmithing place, because they moved here for coal mining. But I gave them their own lot. Josie, get down here so we can all go home soon. Okay, you guys almost done with your... Yeah, you guys are done. So let's go ahead and... Travel away. Oh my gosh, D-Sims, you put a pic of your um, decade self. I never know how to say that. You guys taught me once. Is it ro rock co I always want to say rock coco. That's not right. Eli's mom and Nanny Bell. Yep. Do we have time, actually? It's 5.30. I think we have time to go over and meet Betty and the baby. And then they'll know everybody. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop by Boss Hogs on the way home. They had a full Sunday out and about. We've actually gotten a lot done for, like, one sim day. Wait, hold on. I've got to travel from Madison or... Rococo. Rock, rock Coco. <laughs> Me trying to pronounce words is always an experience. What was that one that one day? Oh, don't even remind me. Don't even remind me. You better believe it. If you guys are, are lurking, I... What, what was the word that I could not say? <laughs> I don't remember. I have traumatic memories. Okay, we're not going to bring... We're just going to do what we did last time. William and the grandparents. Henry and Eloise. The kids are going to all head home. The kids are going to head home. <laughs> I tried, d -Sims. I tried. I gave it my best go. Let's see. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing good. We got 45 minutes left. She's out waiting for us with Frankie. They're like, oh my gosh, I knew you guys were going to come over after church. How was lunch? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, T-Sims. Oh my god, yep, that was it. Just knitting, that was the one. And don't ask me to say it because I don't remember. But that was like, a, like there was like a 15-minute segment of stream of me trying to pronounce that. Hi, honey. We haven't seen you since you got knocked up and got married and ran off on us. How's the baby? Here, let's control her like we did James so that we can, like, do introducing and stuff. Here, come meet your grandparents unofficially. He he wait, what do they say? He ya. He ya. Oh, she really misses William. They hugged twice. Okay, now let's go. Can we get inside or do we need a knock on the door? They walked in. Yeah, knock on door. 
the what? dish. <laughs> oh my god. Grandpa, always flirting with grandma in front of everyone. Here, go knock on the door so we can get inside. I love this camaraderie that's happening. I know, Frankie's like, it's cold out here. Betty was like, go... Go get the baby. Oh, he's right there. He was just oh. waiting to greet us. Oh, he went and got a little drink. He went and got a little drinky poo. Are we in a group? Because if we're not, that would make life a lot easier. I don't know if Matt. Where Matt? Did Madison leave? No. Where is she? What are you? She had to run to town. I'm like, what are you doing, woman? All right, Maddie, we'll we'll get you there. We'll get you there eventually. You guys all come down here. Let's go meet the baby. Oh, the New Loy. I love that Frankie's got a drink. I like absolutely love that Frankie's got a drink. Yeah, she just had to make a little run to town. I'm gonna have to like manually bring her. Oh no, she's part of the group. Bring it up the rear, Madison. Let's go. Yay, we made it. Madison is always running somewhere. Okay, there's our little baby. Okay, good. She didn't age up yet. I was getting worried that they're getting really close to being Todd's. So, Betty, why don't you... Oh my god, we, did we name her Violet? I forgot we named her Violet. I couldn't remember her name, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is cute. Today has just been a like, introduce the baby stream. Introduce to grandma first. Cause grandma, of course, is begging to pe pinch those little cheeks. It's really dark down here. I need to add more lights. It's really, really dark. Here, can I do that real quick? Now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oof. Mom, Dad, this is my basement. This is where I live. I miss the outside. Well, it makes sense. So I went on these like house tours uh, back when I lived in Texas. There was a um, technically they were more like built around probably like no about this time between the 1870s and like 1900 was where most of them when most of them have been built. There were these big like mansions and like most of them had like different stairwells for like the um people who worked for them and like their rooms were like down underneath right now it is feeling a little dungeony i need to do a little bit of revamping on it because i was just so over this build by the time it got down to it so i just did it super fast but i'm gonna give it a little bit of a, a facelift now that it's the family has moved in lighting Let's just do like the horse ranch. Man, it's like super dark or really bright. There's like no in between. Yeah, it's like the servant quarters because they work for boss hogs. So like, but if I, I want to switch like the wallpapers and stuff. Like it's a little bit like too much. Like honestly, the wallpaper that I'm thinking is like it would still have like decent wallpaper. I kind of want to give it... Here, let's just have like a little build mode moment for, for the second. I kind of want to do something... Either that one or I have one from... Where is it? Is it under wallpaper? This one. This is the one I really like. There's so many options. Like, I want to brighten it up. It's just, like, so dingy. That's a little too bright for my sensitive eyes. I want a brown... Brown on the bottom. Ooh, maybe the red, so I don't have to change their bed. Yeah, it just needed to be like spruced up a little bit because I did it so fast. And then I want to do their room too. 
Oh, I love how matchy matchy that is. I'm gonna change the rugs out later too, but for they literally have like their toilet in their bedroom. I like I've gotta like I said, I've gotta do some work. I don't want the toilets in the bedroom. Um but we'll work on that later. At least it's not so like dark and decrepit. <laughs> If we dig down on the outside foundation using the pond tool, you could put some small windows in. I'm on the edge of the lot though. Like I, this, this house takes up literally the entire footprint. So I don't think I even have room for any sort of digging under, unless you're saying like go underneath the house, but then it might look weird. I'm not worried about them not having windows. They wouldn't have had windows. Like, this is potentially, like, 100% how they might have been living. So, I'm fine with it. It just needed some color. Yeah, Drill Sergeant, you don't even put windows on the upstairs. Okay. <gasps> Grandma, hold on. New boo. Oh, my God, that's cute right there. <laughs> Betty's so proud of her new boo. MC Wolf, welcome in. How are you? Oh, now I can't see what I'm doing. Grandpa immediately put that baby back into the, the crib. Okay, introduced to Grandpa. Well, we have to meet everyone. So this is Great Grandma, Great Grandpa, and then actually Madison and William need to meet her too. So then that way she'll show up in our relationship panels. Aww. Yeah, Betty is quite young. She's actually younger than Lucy and William. There's our little save check. Thank you, Andrew. Are Betty and Frankie always going to live under Boss Hog? I don't think so. I think they're just going to live here for a little bit because they were real young. So they just moved here. I think Boss Hog's giving, um, giving them a little bit of work so they can make an income with the new baby. And then I think they'll move out to their own small little lot. I actually think Betty and Frankie might, I might move them into um, this one lot that I really like that I want to put into my game. So I think they're just getting, kind of getting their start here. And then they'll do their own thing once I kind of decide what it is that they're going to do. Okay, did he meet, did she meet Grandpa? Okay, meet Madison. Or here, do William, because he's closer. Go oh, meet your papa. Aww. 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 I kind of want Betty to find out some dirt on Boss Hog while they're living here. Like, she might, like, discover something unintentionally, some secrets. Or, like, maybe she exposes that Kirk's not really Boss Hog's kid or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what the drama's going to be. But there's potential for drama because she's living here. Uh Gosh, yeah, they're saving up since everything happened so suddenly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and so Frankie was already, like, starting to work for them. Wait, Wyatt just got a lifestyle. What did we get? Single and loving it. No, Wyatt, you're about to be dating soon. Oh, my God. William holding this baby girl right now? His face. He looks... <laughs> Why the annoyed face? I think someone just got a hurt mood lit. Crying baby, yuck. William thought toddlers are bad, but these infants are completely unmanageable. Could someone take this thing away? William's, William is babied out. He's like, he's wore out. They've had a long day. William, that is, that is a little bit unnecessary, buddy. Okay, we just have her to meet, meet grandma and then we're, and then she's met everyone. Yeah, there's still a little bit of frustration here. Yeah, a little bit of frustration still. He's like, you're too, you're a child oh. raising a child. Because she's only like 16. He definitely oh, loves them. Maddie! Oh, Madison, you turned away from me right when I was trying to get a picture of you. She's like, this baby needs a nap. We need to put this baby down. I bet Madison would. She's gonna... Kiss her good night. Uh -huh. Good night, little Violet. Oh. 
Frankie wants to hold his baby girl. Um, I think we're all kind of frozen at the moment. Are we frozen? I know, I know. We have goats in our inventory that I keep forgetting about. I can't help it. I can't help it. So why don't you guys maybe come up here for a second. Let's get out of the basement. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are becoming laggy. I don't know. Always when we're with the infants. It's always with the infants. Um, I don't know if Frankie's met them. I'll have to control him to make sure. Why are you guys coming back down? What? Uh, <laughs> what are they doing? I literally said to come up here. What are they doing? I don't know what Frankie wants to do for a career yet. Oh, but he's feeding the baby. That's cute. Could y'all all actually come up here? Because I wanted you guys to pour a drink platter. We're going to drink some of uh, Boss Hog's whiskey while he's not here. We're just going to have some drinks. Thanks, Boss Hog. <laughs> We'll say that we'll say that they were allowed to serve it. Where are you taking that? Oh no, Boss Hog is here. Boss Hog and his ill his not his child is here. Can we set this on the Can we s Nope, we can't. Okay, well fine. Delka, help in. Frankie's showing his daughter the window to prove that there is an outside world. <laughs> Oh my god, Darla pissed off stomping around as always. Boss Hog! That's fine. Grandpa got a drink. William got a drink. Boss Hog's just inviting us, you know. Thank you. Thanks for uh, you know, coming over. Darla looking pissed off as always. Goodness gracious. Boss Hog says, don't mind if I do. Ugh, oh, tensions between these guys. I wonder if William is going to make a snarky comment towards him. We don't really have anything that's like the equivalent of like snarky insult, maybe. Oh, God, no, not trash another sim. I just kind of want there to be beef between these guys. I don't know. A D the Mitch made Darla? I'm actually not sure. But she's... I wonder if it's a... Is there a walk that makes them stomp around like that? But I swear to God, she is... I've never once seen that woman looking happy. Never. Um, Not one time. Frankie gives you town doctor vibes? Okay. We technically don't have a town doctor. Boss Hog would maybe help him get the opportunity to, like, study medicine. She was just born that way. Ah, so so. Are we gonna have a little bit of awkwardness here, insulting? Uh... Huh? Oh, Tell a gross joke. Just be real inappropriate, William. He's just like you know. What's the word? He's just like unfiltered. William's just a little bit unfiltered around Boss Hog. Trips Kawafalobi. Oh. <laughs> The tough walk does that, or she could just be angry all the time. She probably is hot-headed. I actually don't know her traits. Aw, oh, Nanny Bell's like, anything else I can help you with? She probably gets to hear all the tea. She's in here serving, you know, dinner, cooking. She gets to hear all the drama. Nanny would be suspicious and talk to Betty and Frankie about the fact that the boys don't look alike. Probably something like that. Um, Nanny Bell is like, William, get out of my way so I can clean up. Boss Hog and William. They're both just a little bit unfiltered. I love how it got awkward, so everyone left. Everyone walked out. They were like, uh-uh. Betty's like, I'm gonna go help clean up in the kitchen. Uh, but these two... What else can we do? Argue... about politics. Aria, thanks for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just have a little bit of an argument, and then we'll probably head out because it's getting late. A bimo yap, blonif, apolichaba, Jen Seba. But I do think we also need to thank him about taking 
uh, Wyatt. So it's like we're kind of like getting snarky. Maybe we're arguing. Do we think he's trying to back out of maybe? Oh, what if he's trying to back out? Like after we took that trip, he's like, oh man, that university is going to be a lot more expensive than I thought. And he's trying to like back out of paying for Wyatt's university. And William's putting his foot down and is saying no. Or alternatively, we could say that he's saying that Frankie and Betty need to find their own place soon. And William is like, they're really young. Like, can't they just stay here and help you out for a while? Um... Or any other ideas that you guys have. We can set something up for storytelling. Claire, you forget to do daily vibe check. No worries. I um I always forget in other streams as well. I'm like, oh, I didn't do my check-in. But you got it today. I think, yeah, what if we say boss is trying to kick out? Um, like he just like there's just too many people. Too many people. He doesn't like the baby crying. Maybe he's trying to weigh in on what Wyatt should major in because he's footing the bill. He's like, he's, maybe it's all of the above. Maybe it's all of the above. They're just arguing. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're arguing about politics. I was like, wait. Yeah, the baby's keeping him up all night. Maybe Betty's not, like, pulling her weight around here because she's a new mom and she's real tired. So maybe she's, like, not doing the best job because she's a little bit of a wild one. She's not really the domestic type, our Betty. So maybe they're, uh... I think he would want an advance for the college and setting up a house and school. Yeah, it's like, he, even though he technically ripped off our family, he feels like maybe he's being expected to do a little too much. Well, we're going to defend our family, Boss Hog. You ripped us off. You totally played with my wife's emotions and took all so much of our money. Uh, so, yeah, we, we're, we're not here for it. Deception. I feel like I don't like the mischief interactions. Oh, yeah, now we're pissed. Now we're pissed. We're just going to storm out of here. They stopped talking. Um, Andrew, did you see, did you see stream on Monday? Were you here on Monday? Because, um, if you were, when we took Wyatt to, Br uh, Brightchester, oh, he is city boy through and through. So much so, so much. He is going to thrive. Homeboy is going to thrive. He's going to have like a mansion when he's done. He is going to thrive at college. It's going to be great. All right, family, we've got to go. Time to get our booties out of here. I always make my Sims walk out of the house to go home because, I don't know, I am the way that I am. Oh, everybody else left. Uh, Betty, let me get you out of my... Uh, excuse me. Madison said, I'm just gonna go have a little rest. I guess the always welcome is working. <laughs> She's like, okay, here's what's happening here. Betty is a new mama. She is wore out. She's been having a hard time getting rest. And so Madison came and cuddled her little baby girl and helped her little baby girl get some sleep. But uh, now it's time to go home. <laughs> Thank you, Madison, for being such a great mom. But uh, we don't live here. We do not live here. So let's go. Oh, wait. I was supposed to be taking her out of my control. Oh, I can't because she's sleeping. I'll have to do it this way whatever we'll have to do it when we get home it's so cute it's kind of cute that they were sleeping in the bed together i like don't see that very often but that's what was happening i don't remember who all was with us i think grandma and grandpa already went home so i think it's just the, i think it's just us two all she has is Nanny Bell to help her, not the village she was probably imagining having when starting a family. Exactly. She was a little bit unprepared. Crafty Simmer, good night. Good night, good night. Thank you for hanging out. Um, Let's see. We have an ad starting in 52 seconds. We have like about 30 minutes left of stream. Um... And since we just got the mech home, why don't we do, let's just do like a real, real quick break. I kind of feel like my foot's falling asleep. I'm going to get a quick, uh, quick stretch, have a little walk around and then we'll come right back. And then we have about a half an hour 
and see what we get up to. So contract for the kids to work off a house and school for Betty and Frankie. I'll have to have a little think about the, like the logistics of everything, but I like the idea of something like that. Um, okay, let me get break music ready and I will see you guys in just a second.
Rose, you're going to try and do a test with the town lot. See if you can turn it into a rental lot. Might not be able to play with the other type of lot traits like the restaurant or retail outlet. I think if we turn it into a rental, though, if we, like... I don't know how that works with, like, the shared spaces. Like, if we leave, like, the retail and, like, the shared spaces... Um, where, like, we could still, like, go to the restaurant and, like, use the buffet table and stuff. I don't know. We might have to, tr uh, to try it. Um... Aria, you might have to cut it short. No worries. No worries. Yeah, set the rents to zero. I want to try it because then that gives us so much more spaces for people to live. Um, I would like it. Okay, we are at... Uh, you guys are probably like, where the heck are we? I decided I want to play with Eli's family for the end of stream. Um, because we still have a couple days till Winterfest. And I want to start to get to know Eli and his family a little bit better since he's about to marry in. So we can start, you know, seeing Eli planning for the proposal and everything. Um, so this lot I downloaded from the gallery. Isn't it so cute? Oh my god. It's so freaking cute. I like love it. I love it. I love it. I want them to get a horse. Um, and I think I want us to get a horse again. Because I want Eli and Lucy... I think I want him to take her out on a snowy horse ride and he's going to propose to her sometime during Winterfest. So we're going to play with them. For some reason, I was trying to like, I three speed it through the night so we can get closer to like daytime. William and his mom are here. I don't know why. I don't know why William and his mom are here. No idea. There's a mod that lets you turn the shared spaces into community lots. Oh my god, D-Sims, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Maybe we'll test that next time. We, I'll, I'll have a little play around with it off a of cam and see if I can get it working. And then maybe we can have that all set up. Because then that means I could add like a few more townies. We could give one of the houses to the Undertaker. Um, and maybe put, create like a new family with some kids for like the grandkids to be friends with. That is awesome. Okay, let's get these guys up and moving here. Why don't you come... Um, I probably need to cheat cheat some skills on like the parents real quick. Like I'm gonna make her like have cooking skill and stuff real quick. Cause now I'm really enjoying playing like more rotationally. Um, set. Wait, no, no, that's not. What did I just do? I just want you to have baking, cooking. Let's say you do some you do some gardening and some gourmet and uh yeah some knitting i'm just gonna max her out or like set her at like level eight yeah that's good we'll just go like just so she doesn't like burn the house down <laughs> they would they would have some skills yeah and a space for betty and frankie Yes, they can move into that one really, like, cute one that I like. Um, the little, like, apartment looking. Well, I got, like, the one that's, like, more of a... Or maybe they could actually move into one of the bigger houses because they're going to have, like, kids. Maybe they have, like, another kid and, a, and another... I have to look to see how many kids they rolled for. I can't remember exactly. All right. Miss, um, I think you're... Be uh, Bessie is uh, Eli's mom. So Bessie is Eli's mom. And then this is Samuel Coleman. He worked at... Uh, he's a blacksmith. He does coal mining and stuff. So here, go ahead and put on... Get dressed for the day and let's go make some breakfast. And then once Eli's up, we'll... <laughs> William's just like... William is just here. Maybe... Oh my god, we could have Eli ask to marry her. I don't have the mod in though where they can actually do that. Oh, it's like four in the morning. Um... Oh my god, everyone's here! Madison's here! What the heck? What the heck? Marriage of convenient... Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta scroll up, because I missed some stuff. I love this house. It was from the gallery. I'll have to find the name of the creator. It, oh, wait. There's a TV in here. I missed that. There's no TV. I thought I did a sweep for all the all of the um, more, like, modern stuff. But I missed a few things. Aw, y'all are, are cute, too. Where's our stove? 
Strokes, oh, here it is. Gosh, I felt like it had like a good like decades vibe here. I'm gonna get rid of the. Bessie likes jokes. Well, you're gonna fit in with the Westbrooks. If you like jokes, you are gonna fit in perfectly. Cook together with Madison. I think Eli is gonna ask them for permission, cause uh, to get married. Oh god, this is like, ugh. I don't know why the recipes like freeze. Do you guys have simple living on? Hold on. This might have come with lot traits that I didn't realize. We want to turn all that off if it did. Yeah, let's turn that off for them because, whoops. It's not a live-in club, that's for sure. Not a live-in club. Yeah, hope you don't mind because the Westbrooks like to uh, toot for fun. Ooh. Why don't we do a breakfast scramble? Nice little... Okay, I didn't do cook together with, but that's fine. All right, Eli, what are you up to upstairs, buddy? Why don't you go ahead and get up for the day? Come get dressed. Are you nervous, buddy? The Westbrooks are here. Aria, goodbye. Thank you for hanging out. All right, buddy. Here. Uh, give yourself a pep talk. You can do it. You can, you can ask to marry our Lucy. I hope, I hope they don't leave. I love it too, Wistful. It's helping me not get bored. It's helping me not get bored. I'm loving it. Oh, what's your whim? What's your whim? No! His whim is break up with Lucy. We're re-rolling. He's nervous. Re-roll. That's a, that's fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Yeah, it's from the, it is from the teen. His, his puberty is what the embarrassment actually is. Okay, here, practice your speech real quick. Here, practice. You see, Mr. Mr. Westbrook, I absolutely adore your daughter, Lucy. I want to give her the world. I want to love her as deeply as you love Madison. <laughs> I'm not a very, I don't know how to be like romantic. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. We believe in you. Whistle if you weren't such a control freak. I am kind of a control control freak, but they're going to have a cute proposal. It's going to be really cute, I think. I love it, buddy. Okay, you work on your speech a little bit. Let's go check in on mom. Did she finish, finish the breakfast? She did. Okay, let's get that. I don't know if the Westbrook's are still here. They might have left. I might have to... Let me see if they're still here. Yeah, I think they left. So let's invite them back over since we're we're running with this storyline. You should... I'm pretty sure you know them both. Yeah, you do. Here, invite them back over. Okay, hey, Lucy's not gonna come, though. Cleavar... Oh, Nabaquink. Okay. Get them over. Let's see what let's let's get Susie up and ready for the day. Where are you, Susie? There you are. All right, little girl. Come get dressed. Here, put on your like cute little dress. We're having a, a nice little lunch with your brother. Come check in. Come Come give your brother some good luck. Yeah, Madison ran back to town again. That woman. Hold on, I want her to tease him. Can she tease about Crush? That might not be... They might not have that interaction. Here, goof around. And is there anything we can do that's teasing? Tease about bravery? I don't know, we're gonna say he's teasing about a Crush. Yeah, we'll do the tease. That one's like a mischief. Ugh, I hate that they have to walk out in the hall. Good luck, big bro. I know you're super nervous. <laughs> don't mess it. Don't, don't mess up. Oh my god, she's social level 10. Good job, Susie. Rose, when I start to say something, uh, 
You're out, you're typing it. You you've taught me how to think like you, Rose. All right. Let me see if the Westbrooks are here. Did they make it back over? Because if they did, I'm gonna control them. See, Wistful, I still have to be in control. Is Madison here though? I don't think. Did she come and go already? Madison? What happened to you? We'll get her over here. Okay, everyone, come start to... Come start to get your seats. Hopefully I didn't cue any of the same. There she is. There's our girl. All right. You guys, come on. We'll just get rid of that. We'll get rid of this, too. No, 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 no. Have a seat. Gorp, thank you! You might do this with your household sim when they age up. So fun and nice. Change the scenery, but then you'll have to redecorate all the lots. That's why I found one on the gallery that I really liked. Okay, yay! We've got everyone seated! That's a miracle! That is a miracle. Wait, is Madison looking a little stinky? Hold on. Is she? She's bored! Madison! Madison! No! Oh yeah, compliment the house. Compliment the house to Mrs. Oh, well, Brighton Day. I thought we were... Compliment... The house. You start talking to Eli. Insult yard. Dis I don't know. He's discussing marksmanship. And now my storyline for that is like... It's like a shotgun joke, you know? About, you better take care of my daughter. Or he's gonna cock his shotgun and be like... I'm coming for you, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Kerbo, hi! Welcome in, welcome in! Welcome to my little corner of the internet. How are you doing? It was so fun, like, dance partying with you the other night. Um, Why does Eli's family not like Steven? Is there... It, there's a lot of red uh, relationships that I need to go around and fix. Because um, the Sims got a little out of hand. Oh, I do love okay actually I'm gonna let you Susie go off and do your own thing yeah you go do whatever you want because the grown ups are doing their thing oh my god I love these two like intent conversation okay let's go ahead and eat let's get some breakfast Oh, Where'd you go, Ed? Yibs, saquinario. Here, bud, you don't need a book. Put that down, because you're going to be glitched. Or, yeah, there. Oh, did he come sit next to... William, is this where they're gonna have a little private, a little private conversation over here in the? Ask about another sim. Ask about Lucy. I wish I had an actual interaction for like ask for blessing. Ah, oh, he said thumbs up. I oh, he's like I like Lucy. She's pretty cool. Um, I don't think he's, like, actually asked yet. He's like, um, so I'd like to talk to you about, about Lucy. Um, Claire, enjoy your lurk, enjoy your lurk. Uh, Kerbo, good night, good night. Thank you for stopping by to say hello. Get you some sleep. Let's save. Uh, Mr. Westbrook, I'm sure you already know the reason we, uh, invited you all over for this beautiful breakfast is because I would like to speak to you. It has his voice cracks. 
Oh, I have a question I'd like to ask you about uh, Lucy. That's very important. William's like, I got to put my plate down for this. He's like, all right, Eli, I'm ready now. Why are you thumbs downing now? What are you talking about? He's like, Eli, why don't we go outside? Why don't we go outside and talk about this? Eli, where are you going to wash that? I don't think so. Let's just, let's, oh, well, you're already done. Just finish what we're doing. And then, are we in a group? Is there a group happening? No, good. Let's add just William. William's like, let's go, let's go talk about this. Let's go outside. Is there a nice little area out here? Maybe they'll just come over here. Eli, stop procrastinating! Is there an interaction that I could do that would be cute? I just want a cute screenshot of them. I think he's gonna... The parents are like, oh, there he goes! There he goes! They know! Okay, now we can do like a cute screenshot with them. All right, come ask... Um, can you talk about marriage? Talk up, Lucy. Oh my god, Eli. <laughs> what was that? I promise to take care of her, to give her everything she wants. I've been saving up money. Well, actually, aren't they going to live at our house? That's a question. Okay, question for you guys. Would you like to see Lucy stay living at the farm? I'm not guaranteed. I just, I'm curious what your opinions are. I'm still going to do whatever. I think we're going to keep Lucy living at the house, but would you, what do you think, Rose? I'm curious what your thoughts are, Rose, specifically. I mean, I'm curious what all of your thoughts are. Because if, if Lucy doesn't stay, Josie, Josie still has to grow up and Josie could take over the farm. Um, cause I don't know. There's something about Eli and Lucy that I feel like they should have their own place. Um, I don't know. The more I'm playing them, I see them somewhere else, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Eli is a teen and so is, and so is, um, Lucy. So maybe, maybe that's why, um, Mr. Westbrook, I will, I will love her forever. I will do right by her. I will raise Sir, our children to be Laura. respectful. Sarbs, All of the things. Oh, Maybe they stay at the home lot at first, uh, then move out when uh, they save up enough. Whoa. Winterfest Eve that? is tomorrow. Oh, Here, give him a handshake. Oh my god. Handshake. Sula. He's like, Eli, we would be honored. He's got like a country accent. He's like, Eli, we would be absolutely honored, son, to have you be a part of the Westbrook family. You have always been so respectful, but you remember, if you break her little heart, I will come for you. <laughs> um, yeah, to start, they could start like, kind of like Betty, like start just to get started. Give you some more time to think on it, unless you'd rather not think about them too much. Uh, perfect acting. <laughs> oh, goodness. I want a picture of this moment, so then when we're looking back at... Um, I'm trying to get more screenshots, because I saw another um, streamer the other day who had so many screenshots from all of her generations, and they went through and did, like, a recap. And I was like, oh, that's so smart. So, like... If people don't want to watch all of the generations and they come in later, I can do like little recaps with the screenshots down the line. Um, they do grow up so quick. Oh, no, he tips his hat to her. What are you showing him, Eli? He's like, look, this is my plans for the proposal. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh my God, this banter is so perfect. Yeah, All right, we have gotten his Zephyr. blessing. We have gotten his blessing. I love it. There's Jeff horse Zachary. poo out here. Love the idea of turning the back house into a starter house for Lucy at first. 
We could, we could. There's like a, a couple different options. So I could even expand that as well. But I want Lucy to do music lessons and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for Eli. What kind of vibes does Eli give you guys? I feel like he gives me kind of like more scholarly type vibes. So like I could see him either being like maybe going into law or maybe, I don't know. I haven't figured out yet. Wasn't I going to do like a machinima type thing for the start of each month with the screenshots? I know I hadn't planned on that specifically. Um, I sometimes want to create little machinima things for different things that happen like in the game. But I definitely wasn't planning on doing like an every month kind of a thing. Cause that's a, it's a lot of work to set that stuff up until I'm like full time. I don't think I got the capacity. He gives me lawyer vibes for some reason, doesn't he? And I've never played with the lawyer career, so it could be kind of fun for me to try it out. Here, come hug mom. Tell mom the good news. Oh, let's do you are my favorite because then it'll look like he's whispering to her. You are my favorite. Mom, mom, mom. Mom, he said yes. <laughs> it's the bow tie. <laughs> if they do live in the little cottage at the back, then we got to get... The get to know him a little better yeah then decide on his future mom mom he said yes he said yes oh honey i'm so happy for you they always repeat this interaction like twice she's yay supportive dynamic i love it oh my god this is perfect timing we're right at the end of stream Yay! That was so wholesome. I love this family. When, when I created them, there's some families you ever had that you don't even like know what your story is for them yet, but you create them in cast and you're like, I love these Sims. I love them. The Coleman's, I fell in love with them from the instant that they were created. As soon as I made Eli, even as a kid, I was like, that is Lucy's boyfriend. And then when I saw them together at James's wedding, I was like, yup. And then when we saw them again at Betty's wedding, I was like, Oh, they are, they are end game. End game. <laughs> William might be like, try to get him to work the farm. He may thrive or he may make a mess of it. We could kind of see how he takes to it. Like after they get married and he moves in, like see how he takes to farm life. And then if he doesn't love that, maybe he decides like, maybe he starts talking to William because William's off at college. Because I don't know like how to become a lawyer during this time frame. Like did they have to... um have a degree i'm gonna look up what the law f like the requirements to be a lawyer were like in the late 1870s so yeah maybe he like maybe they work to put him through school and that's why we live at the farm so they can save up some money to put him through uni um lots of lots of potential oh my god look madison is so happy here let's end with madison come and give him a big hug big <laughs> big hug from madison Oh, did I say William? I do that a lot with uh, Wyatt's name. No. Oh, honey, we're so excited. You know how much I love a wedding. We can't wait. <laughs> love it. I love it. I'm glad we came into this household. Oh, my God. Up, oh, Of course. <laughs> she said, she said, no, don't get cold feet now, Eli. And she like spooked him she's like absolutely not mrs westbrook okay let's end it here oh my goodness okay let me take a little peek and see if anyone's on um love that madison is at home with him already yes i love it because they i mean he's been around since he was a kid you know they've 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 been friends for a long time I will say I'm having a lot more fun with the save file though. I like the way we're currently playing it. Not like, I just don't, I'm not, there's certain saves I don't care about like skills and aspirations. Like I may like hop between it depending on how it relates, but I just want to like, I, I just say I want to play dolls. I just want to play dolls with my Sims. I, I'll even cheat skills for their storytelling. Like it was fun to build like Lucy's piano, like over her childhood and stuff like that. But otherwise, you know, I just want to go with the flow. Um, thank you for all of the links, D Sims. You guys, everything is there. If you guys want to join Discord, if anyone's not in there yet, 
um definitely come over and hang out in our discord thank you guys for being here and hanging out thank you for the hype train today and all the biddies and the gifted subs you guys are amazing to all my mods you guys are amazing um so yeah good night guys hold on we're gonna um there's there's not really i don't really see anyone that's kind of on from our community so why don't we go ahead we'll just wrap it up because i'm gonna i haven't eaten today so i'm gonna run to dinner so right after this so let's just end it today no hype train today we'll be back on friday we're gonna play the coven we're gonna play our our magic our spellcaster series on a uh, friday and saturday so hopefully i'll see you guys there for that but that's it guys love you so much bye